We're live. We are live. Hey guys. What's going on? Oh my god. Party party ticker up here. Yeah, I need We're to turn here. My, my sound up. Keep talking. You keep talking. It's okay. You're hello, good. hello. How's All everyone right. doing after thanks or after Thanksgiving? Jesus. <laughs> after <laughs> Halloween. Um, I'm starting to think I need to just dress like Mary all the time because people were telling me I looked better good. than ever. So I'm like, oh crap. The tan looked good on you. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I'll just have to go heavy on the uh on the bronzer from now on, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, we're so excited you guys are here. I want to make clear that this is my actual hairstyle. I'm not trying to be Robin, so don't. Because well, like I brushed look, it out. Your hair looks nothing <laughs> like Robin. It looks good. You don't have yeah. the uh the curl the, towards the face. There's a couple, there's a couple fresh looks in this episode. Like it's not, but like you can tell where they did different days on the interviews, and she has like full, like perfect little ringlets, like tiny. Oh, ringlets. who's telling her that looks good? I mean, it's still Cody. insane. Cody likes that old timey prairie. Some woman. Yeah, he likes it. Handsome, I mean, have you seen woman. the side by sides of her and and the handsome woman? Have I, I mean, seen they look, those side by sides? Yes. Pretty haunting. Yeah, actually, so. I saw, I found two photos that I think they were posted on Reddit, and uh, I'll, I'll whip them out later. Well, you know what? You guys are here early, so, okay, the yeah. first one, someone posted this Whoa. on Reddit, and it's just such a perfect moment. Dude, they- Credit to whoever put that up on Reddit. Robin in this episode, like, because she, she finally lets real Robin come out for a couple seconds, and it is chilling. Like it is chilling. I hate like she gets bitchy, and Christine just said, no, "I can't believe Christine shocking. has." But Christine has the ability to like not, not pop back. It's crazy. So I'm telling you, know. her therapist. Okay, and then this other one. This is so good. It's in. Let me see if I can take this little banner off for a second. Oh okay. shit, it's kind of blurry. Those of you who are on Reddit. So it was in the TLC Sister Wives. Okay, so go and check this out. This person actually planted Janelle and Robin in here. And you can actually find them. Robin sitting on the bench. And Janelle, I'm not going to give you any clues, but it's so freaking funny. Oh, my God. Okay, well, yeah, I want to check that yeah, out. Yeah, you guys got to go check that out. It's really funny. Um, okay, well, good. I'm glad that I tested it out there because it came out way too blurry. So Amanda what else? record says we're all going to be able to lift cars after this. Yeah, <sighs> I know. I mean, you don't even know, Jody, because it, oh. it's going to start off kind of like nice and chill. And I, I was like, yeah. is this episode going to be a clunker because it's kind of happy at the beginning. And then they get into the family meeting and it just and it seems like next episode is just going to be the family meeting for like the whole rest of it, which is fine with me. And then yeah, I think it's mentioned... over. Oh, God. There has to be a tell all. I wonder there if people are to. tweeting Suki and wondering if Suki's in on a tell-all. What are we going to do? Oh, pomegranatini. Amanda, <sighs> do you feel better? Uh, my voice, I mean, my voice doesn't sound good, but it doesn't have that weird fucking mosquito warble that it had. <laughs> yeah, it you sound like you were week. crying. Was that on Friday? Yeah, it was. We recorded some Patreon yeah. episodes. Yeah, my like hair really uh, did. I did some deep conditioning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I'm getting my hair cut and colored this week. It's been like Ooh, almost six nice. months, so it's real bad. It's it's <laughs> my twice a year treat to myself. Yeah. Now, what do you it's guys so think we should do once Sister Wives is over? Because we still want to do, I guess, do we just go live every Sunday like, around the same time to do Love to Hate Everything? Yeah, or we should we do, do like a, Or should we do like a full teen mom recap or something? Hmm. I don't know. You guys will have to let us know. We'll have to see. Yeah. Or maybe time wise, maybe we do like a, I don't know what, what day or night would be good. I feel like sometimes middle of the day, Sundays are a little tricky for people. I know sometimes it's a little tricky with me with the kids. Um, I don't know what's better, like Thursday evenings or a little Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll, to skip. we'll figure something out. Yeah, let us know actually. days, times. Uh, Andy what says just go. About. Andy says go live with the old episodes. We were thinking about that, but we like having that on our Patreon because we're making more money on Patreon. 
to well, be fully transparent. <laughs> so, I don't know. YouTube's pretty uh, lit. Yeah, so we're not getting YouTube's paid for like this for to like to like next year. Oh, Anne has a good idea. She said, "Read the book." That could be really oh. good. Yeah. That could be. But really I fun. think we're not allowed we'll to. I think someone seasons. sent us a so, someone sent us a message about that. As long mm. as we don't read, as long as we do it like we did it on that one episode where we don't read the entire thing, but we like snippets. Read. Yeah, then talk yeah, about snippets. it. Yeah, snippets. We could do that. That might be fun. Yeah. We would love to be able to watch the shows live or, or even like we do right now and play the show, but it's such a huge copyright ding and we'd never be able to we just get ourselves we're nervous shut down. about it. I know yeah, there's I mean, people that we've researched do it. But... Yeah, for all the work that we, we've done for this, I don't want to get shut down. Yeah, I don't know. We could do yeah. 90 days. Someone said we could we could just do a whole season of like Mohammed and Danielle 90 days or uh Colty and Larissa. Ooh, that could be good. Or Ed and Rose, or what's another good one? Azan and Nicole. Might be fun. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, we got oh, eight more Azen minutes. And Nicole, here. yikes! Now, um, you guys already had your Thanksgiving in Canada, right? Yeah, and okay. that was when I—that's when I had that migraine. I, I'm a fucking mess. Uh, I—we're uh, not taking shots today because yeah. I'm feeling trash. But I am drinking. Finally, Don't starting to feel better. Guys. Okay, Good. I'm gonna look like a gym rat, and trust me, I'm not. Is that—is that your drink? Yeah, it's all vodka. No, it's just water. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a whole ginger ale here. I gotta here. be dead. Ooh, <laughs> took an edible. I need to check that out. Oh, God, like, I don't want anything that's going to make me feel like crazy high, but I would love something that gives me the effect without the calories of just like a glass of wine, just chilling and, you know. Then just tell, tell your buddy Justin about that. Yeah. But I think there's a closer dispensary than that one all the way down in Naperville. And that could be dangerous <laughs> right by a Costco. And I don't know, is that? No, that's a Costco, not a Sam's Club. Uh, Uber Eats, yum. What are you guys getting? Coke Zero. Pomegranatini says she's eating, or he or she, they are eating chips and Coke Zero. I did that Coke challenge, Coke Pepsi thing with the kids. Oh, and yeah. And Delta 8, I've heard about that for uh, edibles you did that i think amanda i think Colin and that. turns out i don't like pepsi and i mean the best tasting thing was coke and you could definitely tell it's coke and i'm not a pop drinker at all but um yeah coke and then diet coke is definitely the best tasting out of all of them oh Fish yeah justin justin, justin was my dealer at the uh super yeah. expensive bougie Apple store of dispensaries and, and I'm sure them. I could send you some across the border. No, yes, don't do that. I watch those shows. I would just not put a, a return address on it. Yeah, but then they like, might come after me and do a bust on this uh, house. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> They're going to see the, the crystal meth I accidentally <laughs> yeah. cut on 420 when I was trying to get the last little bit out of that. God. What, oh, what by the way, so Big what? Man? A vape pen. And this is what I think happened, guys. I think I had a full blown sinus infection that was just creeping up on like Thursday night, and then I vaped myself to sleep, and it just completely like fucked it up. Don't it do the vape good. thing. It's not good for your lungs. Yeah, it's maybe really in this four twenty, this upcoming four twenty, we always do an annual four twenty episode, guys. Maybe we can go live on that. I wonder if try to get everyone me else. High. Oh, we could do that. Oh, wait. I wonder if the three of them would be willing to. We do would have it. to give everyone like a private link. I mean, like anyone yeah, who wanted to it. do it, you wouldn't have to like work. whatever. Um, but I think we just can't put that for public because, you know, it's legal. Drugs. It's legal. Yeah, but like kids could see it and all that stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Kids are fine. Well, all these but yummy I... things you guys are talking about. Yeah. Brisket, hot wings. I'm gonna make matzo ball soup for the first time. That sounds so. I saw funny. it on SNL in an SNL skit from last night. Oh, which one? I was like, I, I've never had matzo ball soup. You know oh, I mean? that was on last night. Mm -hmm. Was it good? It was fairly good. Like Amy Schumer can take her, I can leave her. Like sometimes, yeah. you know, um, I think she could be really funny, but I'm not like a Schumer head by any means. Her audio book is really good. 
real, real good. Really? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty. The, I thought her opening basketball. monologue was pretty good. You know, it's okay. it's SNL. It's. I, mean, it, it I was, watched it a whole fun. bunch of SNL clips yesterday while I was like sick in bed. Some mm. of them just never get old. Oh, Tom Hanks was on last week doing that. Mr. Pumpkin Hands or whatever that you think is hilarious. No, uh, Mr. I David don't get S. it at David all. S. Pumpkin. It wasn't as funny the second time. You don't yeah, get it. not that One funny. Those popular clips in the past 20 years. All right, we got three minutes. Guys, there's going to be... Can we test this, Jody? I'm going to cough, and I'm just going to oh, hit okay. my mute mic and make okay. sure... Okay, let me, let me know if you Let's guys see. can hear me. Oh, totally hear you. It's so loud. No, you can't. Could you really? You can hear no, me. No, no, okay, no, 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 no. no, no, no. So I'm gonna perfect. have to do. But oh, I have you got um, your sweatshirt. Yay! It, honest to God, I'm not trying to like pimp this. It is so freaking comfortable. It's like that perfect kind of vintagey cool. where it's not. It's not too hot. It's not gonna make like you sweat the, your ass. No, up. like the inside isn't that fuzzy kind. It's more of like good, a, yeah. Oh, Terry, oh, or, no. it's more yeah, of like Jersey. that knit kind of yeah, feel. Yeah, good. Uh, did you see someone today bought two sweatshirts of Coyote Pass and a Yeah Fine? Oh, yay. Who was that? Shout it out. Um, yeah. Okay. three minutes. degrees. Just, wow. I have like, I put, I dabbed vapor rub under each nostril and I feel like Best. fucked up now. <laughs> you should just get that little sniffer stick. They make like a little inhaler thing. Yeah. But if I, if I do it too much, I'm, I'm going to start sneezing. Ah, yeah. T took a COVID test yesterday. That was fun, but I'm negative. Like That's totally actually that was actually an SNL skit. Was what? like a was get COVID like a COVID like your doctor test. prescribes COVID to like get a week off away from like your kids. Oh your yeah, really <laughs> yeah. Or you could like buy a test that has the two pink lines or whatever. It, that was pretty funny. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can just well because I I still have my picture of my my two tests from when I had it last time, so I kept that shit. Although, who am I sending that to? I don't have an actual like employer. Which I guess uh, guys, right? You can send it you're to my, me. You're my employer. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! In Georgia, people are in Georgia, Florida. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Are you ready? It's, it's actually really nice here. No one. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, poor Amanda Babe. I look really pretty. I like I the that. multiple <laughs> necklace look. Oh it's yeah, really it's cute. just it's actually just two necklaces that each have two little feathery things on them. Where'd you get I that? Keep, at? A I just unique? bought. I bought no. I bought one of those like pack of like fifty from Amazon. That's gonna like. I like but this. I leave I leave all my necklaces and shit here next to the computer. Um, just for what I, cause I don't really dress up unless we're recording and they yeah. keep going missing. Cause I know all night Latrice is up here, like shoving them behind the desk. <laughs> okay. Hot toddy day. Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Wow. Let's do it. I like local people. Okay. Sorry. Um, all right. We're going to go here. So I'm going to take the pre-party oh. thing off this time. Oh, okay. All right. We'll be with you guys in just a minute. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total <coughs> Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello, Hi, welcome guys. to the show. We are here. Happy Sister Wives Sunday. Yay. Were you I watching me during today. that in the bottom there? You went missing for a moment and then I heard you cough and I knew you were alive and I felt much better. Oh, you heard me cough. Yeah, I, I hacked up like a creature. Uh, so that was fun. We're uh, up and 
Yeah, but I yes, I I chose the background today. Does everyone like it? Because we got oh, we got a lot of Beaker face coming. This uh, Beaker. Yeah. Oh, guys, guess who's on TikTok now? Oh yeah, we <laughs> should have said that. You at can the tell party. we are so young and hip and like know how the kids make TikToks. Yeah, it's just uh, at Love to Hate Pod. Oh, loco, Thank you, loco vision. Oh yeah, we're, oh, we're both out so of it. Sweet. We're both sick this week, so yeah. Please give us super stickers, super oh. chats. That'll be so great. We love Thank it. You, loco. I hate calling you my medication. Yeah. <laughs> Local, local, local. Uh, we were just talking about in the pre-party here oh. where everyone's from and there's some illinois folks i'm so thrilled this yeah i saw great. somebody from nova school oh you guys heard the cough and then the latrice oh shit. oh no i didn't know you could hear us during that it says yeah, mute mic you did well i'm glad i didn't do anything A more embarrassing sneaky peek behind the scenes oh you well you heard me hack up something you heard me going like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so i'm like get it out get it out it was just a furball it was latrice really and then i saw somebody say latrice and i was like oh latrice come we need you to produce treasy oh we got walter here walter wally I, I have scout under my desk right now all curled up but we'll see how Shocker. long that in and out, in and that out. Is, because all the neighbors are out doing stuff in their yard so i'm sure she's gonna go find her <laughs> friends we're not doing a shot but does, if anyone's doing a shot we can i'll just take a drink and we'll go three two one yeah shot. we'll do I'll that because you're drink. getting over something i'm getting over something what are you yeah. drinking or i'm dying i'm drinking my regular vodka soda pineapple Damn it! I, I was gonna do that with fresh pineapple in there, and I changed last minute. Ooh, I, I had to doing... get this delivered to me last night. I can't leave the house because it's a snowstorm, and I was sick as shit, and I'd have to clear off my car. I'm not doing that's that. That's crazy. Oh, that's right. You don't have a garage. Um, wow, look, I'm Chicago champagne cheese. Okay, we all heard it, Amanda. Okay, well, sorry. I, it says mute mic, right? It There's does like say mute mic. Too. Now we're gonna be super self conscious. That is that um, sucks. I'm drinking this in a little wine Yeti, but it is a coffee martini or like an espresso Ooh. martini. I figure I need a little, you know, little caffeine boost as well. So cheers. I should, I should have gone and got Jack Daniels. That would have helped. Cheers. I don't think I'm a big whiskey person, oh. but I think I need to get into the bourbon. Bourbon's the same thing as whiskey. Uh, right. Pretty much. Start off with J Jim Beam. It oh, goes down like, super smooth. And then what's Maker's Mark? It's just kind of a better. It's, that's usually that's usually what I get when I get a Manhattan. I'll get a Maker's mm, Mark Manhattan. Okay. All right. So, hang on. We've watched the episode. Oh sure. Oh, we cannot hear you now. You're uh, muted. What the fuck? Because that's exactly what it looked like. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm. Uh, we can't even edit out sound on this because it's just like live. So right. sorry for. Well. We're doing what we can. Okay, yep. so <laughs> and if you hear a fan under my desk, blowing so up through I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what is it? Uh, 63 degrees outside, so it's is it really? Yeah, I think it's minus yeah, it's unusually here. warm. Oh, I would have a migraine for sure. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Okay, so you have watched the episode. I have not. Um, you told me don't do minus, it. Minus 12 in Calgary right now, by the way. Yeah, but is that your like weird sciencey Celsius? Yeah, I don't know number? what that. I don't know how to do the conversion when it goes into the minuses. It's double it and add thirty. I mean, who cares? Okay, so eleven, so forty-one. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's not bad. That's like t-shirt weather. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. I might go out I'm, and get uh, bourbon then later today and just like have make myself a hot bourbon, hot toddy, hot toddy. As you would. Erica Jane, I have a cocktail. <laughs> it was clear to the charges. It was clear of the charges. Okay, if, did anyone did anyone listen to our episodes from Friday? Yeah, you uh, were doing something crazy. I still didn't like. The, I can't even do it though. I was like, hey, uh, uh. I don't. It, it would do like this we're weird, crying. horrible. And like there are times where Jody's like, "Do you need to go like?" Get some water, know. wash your face or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Poor baby. Uh, anyway, let's quickly talk about what we have coming up here. We get, we're on TikTok. We didn't finish that out, so check us out. Yeah, Jody made some videos. Pod. Right? I don't know how to do them yet, but I'll... We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
And we are going to be doing a Thanksgiving episode month on Toll Request Podcast. And this, we, well, we already did Master of None, a great episode. Oh, and I just did the whole, that whole series again last night. I really think you should watch it. And now I just restarted watching Lerve again. For okay. like my I, I watched, uh, what's it called? Killer Sally. That was really oh good. yeah. I, see, I wanted I was gonna start that at like eleven last night, but I'm like I don't know if I can take this in right now. Mm, okay. Uh, we I'm are just talking week, in person. <laughs> this week on TRP, we're gonna be doing an episode of Fresh Off the Boat, season two, episode eight, Thanksgiving, mm. and Friends, season six, episode nine, the one where Ross gets high. Yeah, I already rewatched that. It's it's so funny. It's so good. Friends is good. <laughs> and then on. Uh, no, uh, we love to hate TV. We are doing more throwbacks of Sister Wives, season four, episode eight. Oh, look at you, Amanda. No place like home. And that's where the kids, college. the kids, the older kids all go um, back to Utah and they play that hilarious joke on Leon and she gets so mad. And it's they, so funny. Yeah, they get really mad. They're not happy. Maddie's such a all. bitch. I hate Maddie. She's such a bad, like, she's such a troll. Like, I think she's fine now, but like, she was such a troll to her. Uh, Remember when her Madison, Madison loved Robin and was her nickname was going to yeah. be Birdie? Yeah, but I think that was still pretty trolly. Really? I think she was digging Robin at the time because Robin was going to be like the cool mom because she's young and hip. Yeah. And she gave up her purity special flower early. Worst decision of her life decision and she says something this week about giving up her purity by the way my this ear is completely deaf and i just having i have to like i've been watching tiktoks all all day yesterday if anyone has any great ideas on how to drain my sinuses because it just every so often it'll just go and i'm Do like on, it's watching like on this. tiktok there's like a whole like i did i've watched everything some of them work but then they but if i lay on this side it immediately just like turns off i told you get a navage n-a-v-a-g-e okay. It's a navage machine. It like shoots saline up one side and sucks it out the other, and then you it reverses. No, it's. But I needed to. I needed to. My ear. It's my ear. It will. It's all connected. Okay. It's all interconnected. I don't like putting things up my nose, babe. Unless it's cocaine. Okay. What else do we got coming? Water <laughs> <laughs> and don't do cocaine. That's really bad. Go to one of your free doctors in Canada. You get cocaine. No, like your ear, nose, and throat, and all that. Oh no! I, my free. doctor already looked at it. She's like, yeah. She's like. You just you just always you're gonna always have fluid build up in that ear because you're in Canada. The schnooks, Amanda. Okay, a little hydrogen peroxide. We'll talk about this off the air, but anyhow, let's get into this. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Wait, I think I had something else to say though. Oh, sorry. Oh, we were talking about Robin. Shocker. Yeah. <clears throat> the episode where they're doing the uh commence what what is it called the family commission statement ceremony. Commitment Mission ceremony. Statement, yeah where they're doing the oh i just did a warble again did you hear it yeah, it wasn't <laughs> where, they're, <there>. yeah, <laughs> where they're doing where they're doing the rehearsal for it mm -hmm. and it, everyone's pissed off because the kids aren't behaving and cody's and cody's trying to string the lights and he's like i don't have time for this i gotta get to the lights those and, lights are the bane of his existence he's like it should take about 20 minutes for each one i think and christine's out on, on the ground like trying to help him and he's standing on top of the top of the ladder that ladder yes oh i remember god but they're back there doing the rehearsal and then everyone this the the tension's already high and then madison's like what if we don't agree with it, though? Do I have to still shine it? And like, oh, that set them off. And they were pissed. And Robin's like, beaker face, beaker face, beaker face. And then on the couch, <laughs> all the kids are there. And Madison's like, of course I'm going to sign it. She's like, I just love getting a rise out of Robin. I just love teasing her so much. Very I'm good. Madison. <laughs> I'm a trickster. Uh <laughs> I know okay. that's really mean. Sorry, guys. All I'll right. Try snorting so, a PC stick and see if that helps. Uh, if you're being serious, I will actually that. try that. Okay. No, Hi, Beaker Face. Beaker Face. Do you see <laughs> our background? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yes. The background is Beaker mm. Face as well. Okay. I sound you like Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I sound like I'm like. Have Parkinson's. <laughs> okay. Or like Sally Field when she starts crying about, uh, was it the dogs or the orphans or something? uh Sally Field commercials. oh not sally field um sally struthers sorry oh sarah uh, mclaughlin no sally struthers you guys help me out here's that through your age gap 
Oh, here we go. Steel Magnolias. Do you know that Sally crying. Struthers? Oh. Sally Struthers is like the queen of regional theater for like the past 20 years. Yeah. What was she in that we watched? Everything. She's been in literally. Um, she's been Gilmore in like Girls. Everything. We recapped an episode of Gilmore Girls. Remember she was in there? Sure. Yes. But she also like, she'll go and do Hello Dolly. Just like, oh, look, she's just always like that. It's a great career. She has that like older woman kind of just like she yeah. gets to play that featured older woman that has the one great song. She's like in Bethany. every show. She comes from a place of yes. Oh, okay. Bethany Frankel. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Drink your juice, Shelby. Oh, so good. I wanted that candy drawer that Dolly Parton had. Where she was she uh, opened it up and it was just full of candy because that would never last in my house. Uh, okay. Are we ready to begin? For only 10 cents a day, you can help Starve and Marvin, South Park. Jenny. Yes. Okay, well, yeah, but that comes from, you know, the actual Sally Struthers. All right, oh, so okay, no, are... that comes together. All right, read the, the scripts. Sure. A Polygamous Divorce, Season 17, Episode 9. After dropping off Isabella in North Carolina, Christine tells her emotional sister wives that her house is under contract and she's moving to Utah in a week. Then, Cody reveals that he no longer considers himself married to Mary. Huh. He's just announcing that? Yeah. We were, we were all on the edge of our fucking seat, Cody. Yeah, remember last season? Also, Mary... He's doubling down now. <gasps> oh, what I would do. I want to go on the Steel Magnolias trip and I want to stay in that house. They've made it into like a B and B, her house where she had the Christmas party and everything. I want to stay there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't know she had that. I, I didn't really know what Shelby had in there. I'm sure they say it. I've only seen it once. <laughs> yes, that's why she's drinking juice. I've only seen the whole thing once, but then I've seen, like, of course. I've seen the scene of Sally Struthers like yelling in the graveyard. Sally Field. Like, Sally Field. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got Struthers on the brain. Okay. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Does anyone have anything else to tell us? And remember, leave us some super chats and super stickers yeah. if you want. Uh, uh, we broke. <laughs> By the way, just in case you didn't know, Dirty Dancing was about pregnancy and abortion. I don't know if you knew that or not. I watched yeah, it for the first time when I was like 30 and it made me super horny. <laughs> like it's, a, really? it's, a, it's a pretty horny movie. I was like, this is pretty hot. Patrick Swayze never got it. I don't think he's really he's, just like Christian Slater. I, never, you. I don't see that. Not of the dead, Jody. Well, I mean, okay. he might have been able to get it when he was older and sick more than Again, in that movie. Not into the tight pant dancer sort of thing. Okay, a polygamous okay. divorce. All right, we're starting from oh, did you, you already yeah, you already read it. Okay, we're starting yep. from zero point zero zero. Let me wet the whistle here. Do I need to cough? No, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, Jody, stay on top of this chat. I'm doing my best. Okay. No, I know I'm not. I'm, I wasn't. I wasn't implying that you weren't. I'm just <gasps> being a reminder. What, Kimberly? How dare you? I don't know what you're disagreeing with me about, but <laughs> yeah, we'll still be friends. <laughs> Okay. Ready? Oh, about Patrick Swayze. Oh, oh, guys, just be kind, but everyone tell Kimberly that she's totally wrong. Well, okay. I think she's right. All right, ready? Mm. Uh, three, two, one, play. Previously on Sister Wives. I have been in the RV full time for a month. I'm still hauling my water, which is a booger. I'm struggling with my That's solar panels and I'm struggling with finding <laughs> just the right generator. I've got hot water at Robin's house. Why am I going to sit here and suffer with you with your choices? Can I just say something really quickly? Oh, just... old throwback. Wow. What? No, they were just showing like an old throwback of a video that yeah. I don't think you've ever seen. Yeah, it's actually a kind of a new video. It's not that one picture of the whole family in front of Coyote Pass that they, I think they gave them five pictures. You may use these five pictures this season and then you're just going to have to reuse them every episode. Um, I want to, y'all ready for Cody's comedy? Yeah. Cody, I mean, I don't think I've ever met a less self-aware person because like when he says stuff like, I have hot water at Robin's, I don't think he realizes how often he says Robin and how much better it is at Robin's. And then in the next turn, he says, no, I don't have a, per a favorite wife. It's like, do you realize how many times you say Robin? Oh, or and he's going to, oh, he's going to, 
he's going to double down on how perfect that family is later. Mm -hmm. It's so, this is the most infuriating episode yet. Oh, oh my God. Boy. Was more than a sister wife. I felt like she was a friend for a lot of years. Oh, it bullshit. Just Stop you, Mary. It was just all a lie all those years. There's so much investment here in this family. You don't just. There's a lot of investment to pay off your credit cards. And then oh, you good one. The <laughs> yeah. You've good done one. literally nothing. I love that in Cody's like single shot, they like purposely used a picture where he's got like a big pot belly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause you know, there's, there's better toddler. pictures. Yeah. It's and his a hair is like, body. he has a fresh a haircut. Bob. It's too, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's fresh. Like, you know how usually when you dye your hair, get a haircut, you need a couple days to kind of let it settle. He, uh -huh. That was like the earlier that morning he got that haircut. <laughs> oh, for sure. All right, here we go. I need to take another mm. look. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. I might need to off. Nope, we're okay. Okay. We drove for six days. Can you imagine six days in a car with Christine? Oh, oh, she's singing show tunes the whole time. Her honeymoon with Cody, they sung along to Phantom of the Opera. That's in the book. Remember that? Ooh. Phantom or on one of, of any Phantom. of them. Yeah, and she definitely likes Les Mis too, because she basic. Shut They're not listening to Sweetie Todd. Your face up right now. What? I'm Les allowed Les to not like Les, Les Mis. I know you were in it and you're over it and you had a traumatic experience, but <laughs> Les Mis is a classic. I'm going to it in what a couple months. Actually, I'm going to Lion King in like a week or two. Oh, that that that's a great show though. And then Dear Evan Hansen, and Amanda. And then yeah, I love, I fucking love that show. Oh, well, sorry. Oh Catching God. up on the comments here. I could absolutely picture a car trip with Christine. I think she'd be fun. It should be fun, but I think it would get old. And I, I'm sure that after a while I'd be like, mom, can we just listen to like soft jazz or something? I think they would be singing more kind of like Heather from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Some banger hymnals, hymnals, hymns. Hymns, yeah. Hymnal is the book. Oh, do you know the one that was um like, um, and then shoot, this is gonna sound great. That's not a great. It was like a hope in the case before him. Let's uh rejoice. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Open the gates before him. Lift up your voices. This is the God of glory. That one. Yeah yeah. I mean. You this could do is like a the round, round it robin. Is, no, it I was about is. to say womp womp. Don't say robin. I mean, that could be pretty fun. Okay. The king of glory comes. The nation rejoices. Lift up your voice before him. Something like that. Oh, I remember like sixth or seventh grade. That was a big hit. Oh yeah. With my class. Yeah, like it's all the boys. Would, yeah. That one has okay. about fourteen verses in it. It's like fucking exhausting. No. We've seen so many wonderful things across the country. We stopped in great cities. And then the road trip went very well. I feel like the three of us get along pretty well. She said, you see that picture? <laughs> she goes, I think the three of us get along really well. And then this picture of Christine driving, Isabel going like this, and Truly's in the background going like... <laughs> and you can't even see her. She's like Addie in that episode of Teen Mom where like that oh, bag falls on her. Because she nearly gets... Like, 
killed and suffocated by the stuff falling into the She doesn't even need to wear a seatbelt back there, really, because she doesn't even go anywhere. Truly. Oh, my God. Although, you know what? Let's be honest here. Kids now have it so easy. They, they got an iPad. Back in the day, yeah. we would have had a book if we were lucky. It yeah, and I can't like read the, the car. Next in the anthology of uh, Babysitter Club books. And then you've been having a good time. But now, psh, kids got it easy. Inga says, Amanda's sick, but your voice is still great. Thank you. Yeah. See, everyone likes that I song. Know. It was not good the other day, babe. Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, here. here we Open go. the gates before and him. Before him, lift up, up voice. your voices. That's right. That's going to be in my head now forever. For like I the rest know. Of sorry the about that. I'll think of some other ones. Peter right. built the church on the rock of our faith. His banner over me is love. Okay. All right, here we go. We got Truly <laughs> in a talking head, and she her hair is thrown up on his front sheet. has not been sprayed or taken care of. But Isn't I like her little mushroom. I'm so in it. Car is the smallest car you will ever be in your entire life. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's unfair how beautiful Isabel is. Did you see? She gets off of Truly and then she just goes like this with her hair. <laughs> she does <laughs> like a mermaid. Always, I was going to say, it's the move that we all did in a pool when yeah. we were younger. We wanted to look like Ariel in A Little Mermaid where you go underwater, you flip your head over and you come up and you're like, na, na, na. <laughs> God, she's so stunning. But she deserves it because oh, her life has been a fucking shit show. Yeah. She's never wanted to live at home. Maddie, Janelle's daughter, lives in North Carolina with her husband, Caleb, and their two kids, Axel and Evie. Isabel has just Maddie gone said. with Maddie and Caleb. She's going to go to college Aww. about 15 minutes away from where they live. She's just going to start her new life in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm really close with Axel and Evie. I think that Maddie and Caleb are really, really great people, and I think I would love to live next to people who have such a beautiful relationship. Yeah. I'd say about a second. <laughs> this is the colon as in. I know, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I love her like uh, 55%. <laughs> By the way, uh, oh. Julie from Resting Bitch Face, one of our sisters, um, yeah. she just got out of surgery for kidney stones and she said it went well. So that's oh. nice. And I'm glad it went well. Maybe she can join us oh, on her phone. about her show this week? We talked about 60 Days In. That's right. And it's great. It made me... Erica. Erica. Yes. Hi, Pencil. Erica. I, when you press it, I can't see the comment. All right. Uh, oh. Truly wants... Truly's going to miss Isabel about seven. She really That's thinks seven. about it, too. She takes an educated... But then... I'm oh, never geez. asking anyone to rate me on anything, by the way. Oh. I'm going to miss her a lot. But she's oh. going to be happy there. So it's okay. She just has to visit a lot. Oh. When I told Truly about the divorce, Isabel was the first person she talked to. Isabel and Truly have gotten a lot closer because Isabel's been Truly's go-to with everything. Because it's not just like like a short-term kind of thing. Like I'll be staying there for four years tops. Once I decided to leave, I never hesitated on my steps and what I needed to do. And no matter how uncertain and scary and intimidating it was to make the steps, I've never hesitated on making the steps or look back. But sometimes it does hit harder than I would like it to. I think I'm also nervous about how I'm going to live without mom because I do depend on her like too much. You can't see how that. are you feeling about living there? Are you just pause this for a second? Yeah. Seeing the three of them sitting in bed like this, by the way, hilarious comment. Um, this is giving me vibes of the people's couch or, you know, where they have the people from the show watch the show, like a 90 day fiance. What oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. Hello talk or whatever. Love. Pillow talk. Yes. How much would you love to have them watch old seasons of themselves and then be like, oh, this is where Rob was a total bitch and completely lied and screwed me over. Like, like <gasps> you'd need, Mary can watch it alone. And I also don't give a shit. Oh, Mary no, can. Mary can and then go. Janelle, no. or Janelle and uh, Christine can Janelle be together. 
I'm like loopy because yes. I'm on meds. Um, and then Cody and Robin could just have rub and sit there. But like Cody mm. and Robin, they'd be like, we will give, we will pay off all of your debt if you sit and watch this and react and do not throw a temper tantrum and try to leave. Cody would be harumphing like, mm, and then you would just cut to Janelle and Christine in stitches Love, laughing, not even be able to put words. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'd be so good. Yeah. <laughs> she'll be like oh that's right this is this is the episode where i cash in my 401k i remember that i remember that, that. Yeah. yeah um oh this is the episode where mary tells robin she wanted to go back to school to make a better life for herself and robin made her feel guilty mm -hmm. yeah. um oh this is where mary was pretending to work with the apothecary chest from hobby lobby when she was actually we get, we get, one, we get that in this episode <gasps> really Oh, oh that's always good. you're gonna love Mary's section. Actually, I know you're gonna hate Mary's section, which is okay. which is even funnier. Okay. Um, why that's do nice. you think though? Here's my question. Why? And I would love to hear from the chat as well. Love your TikToks, by the way. They're so lovely. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Costa. Do I know this? Yes, of course you do. You do. You're I mean, I'm sure I do. Yeah. You just remind me. I, I, never, <laughs> I never know like names and the usernames. Um why do you guys think Cody and Robin have been able to keep off social media? Because I cannot believe they have. Hmm. I cannot believe they they haven't posted even anything. Because that seems that shows self awareness. But he's such um, a narcissist, and she's such a victim. I think they are, but it's even more so to be able to come down on. Christine and Janelle being like, look at what they're doing. They're making us look bad. It's still going to be their fault that they're looking bad. Yeah, but like, look at, in the, I would say in general, most of these reality stars um, cannot like help themselves, but, but, you know, chime yeah. in every so often. Amber, she was supposed to stay off social media. She was like court ordered <laughs> to, and then she would do okay, lives. Gary. <laughs> we, me and Jody would go on our lives. Like, Remember talk to each other. when yeah. I totally forgot when I ordered a cameo from her and she and I were Talking. communicating back and forth. Like, and she was nice to you, right? She was super nice to me, but she led me on. She was like a, a cameo tease. Yeah, she led me on, led me on, and then she just never delivered. She's busy. Busy uh, <laughs> going to Purdue, right? Yeah. For you online. Oh, I forgot about that. Remember, she was like, go, Boilermakers. It's football Sunday. And we're like, Amber, that's not the same school you go to. I, I like Purdue not, and Purdue online. I do not miss school. Teen Mom at all. Maybe that would be fun to do. Guys, by the way, for we talked about this in pre party, but we're trying to think of what to do on these lives every week now that Sister Wives is going to be over in a few it's weeks. It's hard to think about. It's hard to think about them being gone and over. But what do we do? Because we still want to come online and do this stuff. Yeah, definitely. So give us some ideas. Uh, we're thinking Teen Mom or a 90 day, 90 day journeys. Mm, All right. Yeah. Let us know. Okay. Okay. We got, um, we got Christine sitting in bed and Isabel, this is what I would have loved a sister for is that Isabel is just playing with Truly's hair. No. And I would love that. Like, I love that. Yeah. Um, my sister played with my hair, but it was not, it was not gentle. Well, you don't know. It was. <laughs> I have an older brother. I have two older sisters. Jill used to French braid my hair, but her hands would be kind of sweaty. I know I've talked about this, but if anyone had an older sister or a mom who braided their hair and she would be like, well, do you want it tight so it stays or not? And it would just be like kind of damp fingers braiding my hair so oh, tight. Yeah. And it hurt so bad. And she'd get like pissy and yank. Isabel's a nice older sister. I somehow have I somehow found myself on the side of TikTok of um of black women getting their hair like straightened or <sighs> braided and stuff. Ooh. And that looks the braiding looks so painful because it's so tight. Yeah. I would I got just, a like, one it all the time. where this woman was she's like a specialist in dreads or, or yeah. locks. I'm sorry. I don't know the difference. I, I'm sorry if I use that wrong terminology, but just how she washed it. And it would just wash out all this gunk and then yeah. she would like freshen them up. And it was fascinating. It was beautiful. That's like, how does yeah. someone do that? 
There's Amazing. a woman on there who's especially, and she like does people that are kind of, um, they kind of let their, they're, they've gone through bad times and their hair is just like, Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, those yeah. are gorgeous anyway. Or stylists that do like um, kids in the foster care system who have like really big knots yeah. and mats. Oh. Okay, see, we do have hearts. <laughs> yeah, so Deep down there. Both Isabel and Truly are really protective of, of me and don't really want to tell me full on how they feel mm -hmm. about things sometimes. And then sometimes I just find out. I'm just finding out from Truly that she still doesn't want to move. I've grown up here in Flagstaff. I've gotten used to it by this point, so I'm going to really miss it. So we're leaving Flagstaff. I mean, we're moving away from her dad and from her other moms and siblings, but we're moving towards family as well. Because in Utah, we'll be living, I don't know, right in between Aspen and McKelty. Moving's really difficult. I'm changing everything in her life. Mm. But I firmly believe I'm moving her to better. I think it's hard for a kid to not be able to see a functional relationship between their parents. As a family, the last time that we got gathered was at my graduation, and that was two months ago. Hey. You're so proud of me. Hmm, do you remember this uh, graduation? Um, please don't start singing that song. Don't do it. Don't. Only you can live for you. <laughs> you can live it. No one else. No one else. The rest is still unwritten. Um, Remember when Robin walked by her and tried to not say hello, but then oh, she got busted? Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh you're here. here. Right. Oh, Isabel's here. <laughs> she seemed shocked that Isabel was even in attendance. Yeah. Oh, yes, like, hey, of course. Hi. You, you can see Robin, like, see her and then go, okay, I'm just going to kind of sneak behind her. Oh, I wish the Christine would have run into the house and changed though, because it was just separated. So that would make sense that that would be the last time that we, we were family, family, and we pre that probably will be the last time. I think it would be good for Truly to move to Utah, where she's able to see McKelty and Tony's relationship, which is extremely healthy, and Aspen and Mitchell's relationship, which is also extremely healthy. Because that's what I'm excited for when moving to North Carolina. I'm excited to see a healthy relationship between Maddie and Caleb. I don't know. All right, Isabel. What's the producer? Did you get me pajamas? So we're at Maddie's house. Aww. Maddie's house. And we're, we got her all moved in. And That's Christine such a sweet bought, mom move to get her I know. jammies. I need them to get stuff on these walls immediately. I need a headboard. <laughs> And those two very yeah. sad looking pillows. Okay, I'm a total pillow bitch. I admit it. I'm trying to think how many pillows I have on my bed right now. One, two, three, six. So I have eight right now, but like it, I'm pretty sure it needs like another three. Um, oh, like for, yeah, for comfort. The only pillow, the well, only no, like for comfort and for look. Because oh, I, I enjoy have to, a Euro I have to, pillow. I have to sleep on one flat pillow because, my, because of my back so that I'm just like a stiff board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know my pillow fortress. I have to have, yeah. like, really, I'm down one body pillow. I like to have two body pillows on each side. Oh, so I should roll. get a body pillow. That's what I oh, should do. Oh, my God, I, do it. It's life-changing. I had it when well, I was I, pregnant. And I've never I have Walter and, Latr and Latrice likes to, sit, like, lay right here. So she's, like, my little side pillow. I would die I from anaphylaxis like, overnight. <laughs> no, I would never wake up. And then she always makes sure me, like, that a blueberry in the morning. <laughs> She always like Walter's usually here and she usually will come in and like do a couple circles and just make sure that she's kind of putting her weight on Walter to establish dominance. Oh, <gasps> what a bitch. I know what she's a such a bitch. But then she's he'll like the Robin of the her. group. Just yeah, let she, you know but, I'm here. But then every so often Walter will just go after them like Boo! <laughs> God, I would not be able to sleep at night. Yeah, I, I definitely I'd like all the pillows. Most of them are just for looks, but like there's definitely a technique. Like an overlapping yeah. a technique that I have to have. My on. only fashion pillow that I have on my bed is the oh, Dream fashion. Mitchie pillow that you guys got me when I broke my ankle, and it's this pink pillow with Mitch from Doughboys with his like cats, and it's like mm -hmm. it's it's a hideous pillow. Like it's not like my. And every time my mom comes over, I put it smack dab in the middle of my bed, and she's all I can just see her eyeing it. Like 
doesn't match anything in the room. Doesn't go with the decor. Doesn't, doesn't go, go with the ambiance. Okay. We're at uh, match. And Mashing Isabel shows. is opening, uh, a, I think, a gift from Christine that was obviously ordered off of Amazon because it has one of those zippy, the little zip. Oh, that's right. You only shop local. I forgot about that. Local? Right. You only what shop local. I only shop local. I'm speaking what English. <laughs> Guys, I don't shop local. I'm not the. I'm joking. Like oh, you shop I didn't from Amazon. It's you need to work. Um, you need to work. See, like economy. I like, I like humor <laughs> that's like funny. Well, when when you're being sarcastic, you need to actually make it sound sarcastic. Otherwise, mm. you just sound like wrong. But See, that's go. like that's something called comedy. But I know, like you are into like the doughboy sort of. I I, I get. It. <laughs> You're not quite there. You are an improv genius. Mm, right. So we're in North Carolina. We're getting spammed again. Oh, God. Go away, sex. Fun. Hey, sex 69 fun. All right. And like moving around their lives. Can you imagine getting a dress just randomly ordered off of Amazon, handing it to you, and then it, like, oh, this will fit. This um, will fit. Also, just, just having sleep the confidence in that, of it again, I wouldn't survive the night. I would be tangled up, and I would have, oh, yeah, absolutely suffocated myself. And uh, I would be like Heidi, Heidi Klum on Halloween. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> yes. That was insane, by the way. Um, yeah, no, I would not survive the night. I'd be sweating. I would rip that thing off. That I'd have to get up and get a whole system to support my breasts and be a whole thing. But that's cute. Fit in it was the kindest thing that I think anybody has ever done for anybody on this earth. So Hunter lives in Baltimore right now. He never wants us to come visit him. He always goes, just go to Maddie's and I will come meet you there. I'm oh, sure. Where's Baltimore? We're at Non. And okay, hold on. Hold on. What, yeah, what's the travel distance between Baltimore and North Carolina? You know what? I'll show you guys this side so you can see um, the local economy as well. Okay, so great. Baltimore is in Maryland, which I'm going to let you guys find it first. So I don't want to point out? it out. Yeah, oh, right there. Oh, you yeah. already. Oh, 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 okay, sure. I just want to make sure you guys knew where Baltimore, Maryland was. Uh, I would not. Now we're, okay. where, where are we going? North Carolina's south. See? You go south. So what's the drive time on that? Um, it doesn't look that far, actually. Well, eight hours, see, Illinois. Yeah, I'm guessing like six to eight, maybe. But see, there's like little waterways. Oh, we got so people maybe answering. You have to, like, drive around waterways and a stuff. A few hours drive says J Mast. Melanie says it's not close. And then Pomegranate oh, Tini says, going. I think Hunter is kind of hot. He's I definitely. think Hunter can get it too. He can get it. I think Hunter can. I like him with the shorter cut hair. But hey, you I mean, know what? His girlfriend is like normal cute too. She's not like yeah. some supermodel crazy hot. I love that. I know, right? Is she as hot as Tony? Yeah. Oh. He's definitely the hottest thing I've ever Tony is a handsome woman. <laughs> he's a no, he's a pretty man. <laughs> he is though. He's a pretty man. I mean, man. I have accidentally mistaken him where I'm like, oh, is that Audrey? Oh, it's Tony. Oh, it's all right let's see i love hunter and he's always loved truly so much too I, tr I was really trying to figure out where they ordered this food from um it's a bunch of salads that don't look very good babe they look wet they kind of look oh wet. i hate when you get a wet salad yeah that's the worst and christine is only eating a salad which is annoying to me but they got like salad and pasta she might have overdone it on the road trip though sorry janelle was working on the time i just helped raise them might be olive garden because they're they, they're breaking out the breadsticks that's what someone said yeah oh that's definitely an olive garden salad yeah. <laughs> no, an olive garden it's salad when i see one and olive garden salads are pretty wet actually like they don't travel well no well that's why you have to eat the whole bowl when you're there hello obviously yeah but if you've I've got never... it for or... okay hold the on the best have part of ever okay. brought home leftovers from olive garden I haven't been to Olive Garden since high school, but no. And you wouldn't bring home. I haven't salad. been in years either. I've never brought home leftovers. What is oh, that? Oh, pasta? Uh, what's the best part of an Olive Garden salad? Because I think if the black olives aren't in there, then it's not. It's inedible. 
obviously the black olives, the little pepper pepper things. Those can pepperoncinis. I never eat those. I like to I like to tear them off and then pour them. Yeah, no, I don't eat those. I take those out. Definitely the black olives are legit. The red onions. Oh. Yeah, but without the black olives, it's bullshit. Right. Yeah, soup and salad's the way to go. Madisha looks so tired. It's a mom of two Ugh. kids under four. How old is Axel? Four? Yeah, probably somewhere around there. Five. Six, yeah, so yeah probably like, something. She's like, look, mom, I'm not dressing up for this. I'm not washing my hair. I am gonna 13 months it. apart, and I look back yeah. now, and I'm like, how the hell did I survive? Jesus. Thank you, Ty. You're all Ty. Ty. Hey, Ty. Is Tyler... Caitlin. Ty and Caitlin. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, holy what? crap. This is genius. That's Victoria for the win. Hello. Wow. Guys, I've never had, I've actually never had any pasta from Olive Garden. Because we were only allowed only to salad. go. Shut up. We were only allowed to go for endless soup and salad. Still to this day, if my mom asked me to go, which it's I haven't been Olive Garden in probably 10 years. Uh, what do you mean it's not good? Endless soup and no, salad. Did you not hear that? Pasta this? is not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Olive Garden I'm has been constantly getting me. like two forks or less on Doughboys. Here we go. I mean, like, I walked right into that one. I can't even blame sure. you. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Oh, but wait, we didn't say for oh. the people who were just listening. Victoria yeah. Perry said she'll order Alfredo sauce to dip the breadsticks in. Yes. Oh. Stunning. The endless pasta. Hmm. Yeah, but that's a that's bullshit because that's how they get you. Because you can really only eat one bowl of this pasta, and you're not allowed oh, to take. Oh, you can't. You can only eat one bowl of pasta. Well, because your little tum, your tiny little tum tum, it just gets filled up. Actually, in college, one I probably could have because I we, we would take like eleven bong hits before we'd go. So I probably could, but still, like it's a big bowl of pasta. You get filled up, and they don't let you like take home. Like <gasps> they'll let you like take home leftovers as long as you. But they won't let you be like, "Can you put my second thing in?" Just oh, for I can see that. That's I can see it too. Yeah, so they that's get taking you. advantage of the rules. No, I'm telling you, you get that pasta visual, and the endless. But now that uh, Zupa Toscana, that is, I mean, that's some good shit right there. <laughs> I mean, but it's always like they'll come back and be like, "Do you want more salad?" And then you have to pretend you're like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, go ahead." Oh, yes. Um, when they skimp on it. It's like, are you growing the lettuce? Like, can you not just load it up all the way to the top? Yeah, like, come on. I'm farm ordering girl, endless uh, and salad. Come on, farm girl slash nurse doc says need help from the chat. What should I make for dinner? I stopped working. The family will catch on that I'm listening and mentally spacing ah. it. Okay, so guys, give her some uh, give her some ideas here. All yeah, right, I'm here a big fan of uh, potatoes and some slice up some kielbasa, turkey sausage, some yeah, olive oil. Kind of, everyone's some craving thyme, all garlic. Garden now it looks like Jeez. I don't I know. know that if sounds really all. good for some reason. Yeah, because the soup. Oh, that soup would feel so good Which going one? down this. Any of the minestrone. Min the minestrone. Oh, no. Minestrone is like the vanilla of ice creams. Nah, get out of here. I mean, minestrone's right. good, but... Uh. Actually, you know what? The vegetarian yeah. vegetable alphabet soup, Campbell's, that's a classic. I have, it's I have two of those good. downstairs in my kitchen, and I just can't bring myself to open them for some reason. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Sorry. I have a really good tip. What to cook for dinner. One of my favorite TikTok accounts. Everyone, write this down. Get it up on your phone immediately. Lady Fire three four three. No spaces. Oh God, check her Thank out. Me check Thank her me out. It's and really, it's gonna be really the, good for you. You'll lose weight as you're eating it. Oh yeah, you, you know what? Super easy recipe is the potato soup from scratch, and also her dump vegetable soup. Like, if you are worried about your sodium levels, don't worry at all. And I always, if you love the juice in, like, cans of beans and cans of vegetables and cans of potato. Undrained. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Fire 343. Yes. yes. Oh, Julie. This is Julie. 
Hey, Sweet. girl. Oh, this, this is the one we were just saying. Got a yep. got her kidney stone removed. Are you? Are you? Costa, nice you know too. Butter water. That's right. Okay, you, I have to just say this. I mean, I hope everyone's pulling it up and looking up Lady Fire three four three. She made a homemade potato soup, guys. Cans of potato dumped in with the water in a big giant vat. Okay, filled it up with water as it's boiling. She puts in a stick of butter into the water. Nothing drained. Bada Ew, boom, what's... bada bing. Potato soup, folks. Whoops. Shit. And I'm not uh, joking. No spices. Butter water. The, and then the she tater, puts... It's just starch. The starch just floats to the top of your... Well, that's why she doesn't add it. salt to the taters, because the taters have salt. <laughs> and then... Good God. She puts some... Then she puts some saltine crackers in there. Uh-huh. No onions in that house, no pepper in that house. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Thank me later. Oh, okay. I'm just looking at who Costa <sighs> is. Yes. Okay. Of course. Of Jesus course. Christ. I just Sorry. Okay. Now I have to go back to discovery. Costa, put your TikTok because it is the most charming thing ever. And I, I probably stalk it and watch it way too much, but you are just a gem and your voice and everything. Please throw it up there. I mean, we have said if you don't. Okay. How um, long was that uh, 45 minutes we filled on food just because we saw all of Carter? <laughs> we lady saw take out all deserves it. Okay. Yeah. Listen, Kelly Joe was bullied at school and they homeschool now. And she's a TikTok <laughs> star as she should be. Okay. I support the Lady Fire 343 family. Literally, this we are at seven minutes and all that has happened is that they're just eating salad around a table, and that took us off on quite the journey. But it looks like the chat came with us, so it's good. Everyone seems to like it. I don't think anyone can watch a room full of people eating Olive Garden and not stop and talk about it. That would be I mean, insane not to. Yeah. All okay. right, ready? Yep. Oh, whoops, I turned the sound down. <laughs> There's nothing that can prepare you to say goodbye. I'm not ready to have her go. Are you watching Hunter? Hunter is eating like he hasn't eaten in like five months. He's eating like his dog just got out of the pound. Yeah, he's like, he's like carb loading. He's carb loading. Yeah, he works out. He probably he's just smart. drove six hours. Yeah, no, I he's remember good. he's at Johns Hopkins and nursing and stuff. It's amazing. I didn't say he wasn't smart. I was just saying he's really wolfing down that pasta. Stop coming after my boy, okay? He's like my <laughs> grown up Googie. And you guys, thank you for getting here a safe place to start an adventure for Last year, like, I obviously have been very emotional everything was changing and then like mom and dad's divorce so i think the past year has been really hard emotionally and so she's been going through a hard time and i think that well, i also have obviously however i think that she depended on me not that it's a bad thing but i think that she depended on me i, I just want to say i this this hideous shirt that isabel's wearing on in this talking head is starting to grow on me throughout the weeks i'm starting to kind no, of like stop it. it the light line i'm like okay i get it brown brown sleeves but i'm kind of enjoying how ugly it is i'm like okay i kind of get it it's like well, an ironic gorgeous if you or i showed up on this just one day without saying anything let's just find this that. shirt let's find this shirt Oof. babe Here. so i think it got quite heavy in the house and it got very emotional when she was going through it she sought out I think it's hard for a young kid to see their mom in such a sad state because the last year was really hard. It was really hard living at home the last year. Oh. I don't know if we were going to see each other. She was so cute. I said, you know, I want to come out next month and see you. And she goes, no. She goes, we have to wait. She goes, if you come next month, I'm going to go away back with you. I'm not going to stay here. She's like, the thing is, is I think it's going to make it harder if we see each other a lot. So I think our best bet is Christmas. Wow. That's smart. That's a wise yeah, girl right there. Yeah. It's good for her to be able to live with herself instead of living with herself and needing me and also for me to not need her anymore. <laughs> It's super cool that 
the bit. Hunter is getting down. He just took a breadstick and just like dipped it in someone else's yes. pasta. And, like, just <laughs> get it, Hunter. He's like, I just drove just... six fucking hours from where, Maine? He just took it out of a Axel's hand. He's just like, thanks. <laughs> um, I mean, he's God. like... A... Hey, Look Caleb, you want to take your sweaty, stinky hat off your head? I can smell <laughs> his hat. That gross, sweaty, dandruff, <laughs> stinky hat smell. It's like Corey from Teen Mom. I, I sound it, like Corey from Teen Mom today. Caleb, kind of. I just don't like his face. I just don't like Caleb. I don't, I just can't. Well, I can't. probably because he was an adult and he married a child. Yep, that thing. That thing. thing. Yes, Christine did do an amazing job with her kids. The emotional intelligence of these kids. Well, Co Cody's going to bring up Peyton later, by the way, as an example of how Christine's like the worst. Uh, okay, interesting. Can you tap dance for a second? Because I need to blow my nose. Yeah. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. You guys are hilarious. I love that everyone is here for the distractions, by the way, talking about Olive Garden. Oh, Guys, tell her she doesn't look like Mr. Bean. This is insane. She does not look like Mr. Bean. Um, ooh, a Scrabble quilt. I've always wanted to be able to quilt. Can back. I don't think that's ever a, a you guys hobby hear that, that right? No, we couldn't hear it. Oh, thank and God. you do not look like Mr. Bean. You're insane. Eh, well, someone told me that. Oh, yes. The, oh, sorry. I think it, I was going to say the sunglasses on the hat. Whoever said that is very Cody. Cody is oh. jealous of Caleb's items of flair i don't think he's jealous i think he's just so horny for caleb that he's like i just want to do everything that God, caleb does. does he really does i think that caleb is like Ugh, like don't touch me he just strikes me as someone who doesn't shower often i don't wow. i think he's an outdoorsman though he's a blue collar worker mm, um i don't think he's an outdoorsman though is i think he? that's he just do? the kind of clothes that they have at duluth trading company just like gary on Teen Mom. I think he, I think he's like Gary wears he all before. Duluth Trading Company and it's like deep sea fishing and all this kind of stuff. It's like, Gary, come on. You haven't even think, been to like Michigan, so relax. They're all drinking lemonades too. Is that like a thing at Olive Garden? And then Evie's just eating a donut. All right. uh, Are you sure it's a donut? My yeah, yeah. because earlier Maddie said, you like that donut? Look, she's smiling about the donut. She's, she's like chowing down on a donut. That's her dinner. Good, keep her quiet. Yeah. Um, are super close. They're raised with this big, huge family and this big, huge family picture. That's what they were raised Jeez. with. But by leaving Cody and leaving the family and moving, I'm really changing the dynamic. Moving, yeah. <laughs> when I tell you that keeps me up at night, believe me, that keeps me up at night. I need to tell all the wives and Cody that I'll be moving next week. I have no idea how they're going to respond. I I can imagine. What a shock. What a shock. We never made an official agreement. We never went to our church leaders and said, hey, we're divorced. Or we wanted to Because you're not in the church day. anymore. We all know this, you idiot. Yeah. She's like, well, you and mom and her are divorced. I'm like, okay. That was a little bit news to me. Usually our church would get jody get ready for robin really, it's, it's, really, it's unbelievable really. man she's not the worst yeah well usually so, people I, fucking brush out their curls so shut your fucking goiter god uh i was talking about how <gasps> caleb is a hunter yeah i mean i could never be with someone who hunts but i don't you know as long as you're using everything i guess it's fine and i eat meat so i guess i'm a hypocrite um also everyone is craving Everyone is craving Alfredo sauce and breadsticks oh. now. And I am too. I know I am too. God. All of the Olive Gardens oh, across the across the world are gonna get lit tonight. Yeah. I don't think I have there is an Olive Garden in, in Calgary though. Wow. I can make this work though. I can make this I work. Look that up. Sounds so good. Holy shit. Mm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Because I think this is just the whole conversation that's gonna play for the next few minutes. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Everyone's talking about all gin. Okay. I haven't eaten today, so stop talking about Alfredo sauce and first breadstick. That sounds so good. Where can I get that? I'm making matzo ball soup, even though I've never had it. So we don't even have it. Italian it's food in Calgary, though. We How like do you East not Side have Mar Italian food? It's like chain. It's, it's like Eastside Mario's or mm. Old Spaghetti Factory. Okay. Well, you got Rayo's at the store. That's better than 
probably that. I just need breadsticks. That okay. sauce is pretty damn good for a store sauce. They yeah, showed a she horse totally for you. Accent. Did you see that? Oh. They showed a horse. There's a horse. No, that's Mary. Oh. Oh, no, it was a horse. <laughs> I'm saying that as a fellow horse facey girl. Okay, everyone relax. Oh, and I have like the horsiest of faces. I guess. Are you ready for this? We're at Lizzie's Heritage Inn, and this whole segment <sighs> is about the new love of her life. Mm. Oh my God, Mary. My God, I really do look like her. Me. You didn't know. And we both we nailed it last week. We should film a conversation. Mary is wearing a t-shirt that it's says. It's like me and you, Amanda. <laughs> just like... I looked for her shirt, by the way, that said something like, um, may every I only day care a little be bit. A... Oh. Yeah, I looked for that one. Yeah, I couldn't get it in time. This I one says, remember. so apparently I'm dramatic. She definitely did this on purpose. It's like, you're not doing what you think you're doing, though. Like, you're still not really in on the joke because you are dramatic. And everyone hates you. Yeah. Remember when Mary tried to act sober on all of her Fridays with friends and she's got her big Yeti? Remember when Mary tried to act sober with her Yeti all through seasons like 14 <laughs> through now? The hair's going up. Oh, yes. I still think she's got some sort of root beer based drink. I think it's root beer and like Bailey's or root beer and something that like a child would, would drink. There's like pucker in it like, or something. Mm. Yeah. I think I said root beer and wait, what about like root beer and triple sack or root beer and okay. sour apple pucker or like a, an orange slice with Kahlua. I feel like it's like, definitely mm, creamy. I like milk. Yeah. And she's like, ooh, it's like a an orange creamsicle or grape soda or something. Or like ginger ale and cream. <laughs> Just milk. Buttermilk. Mickey Bowles says, Amanda, the messy bun yeah. queen. Even more than Chelsea Holska. That's the best oh, compliment you can give Chelsea, me, Adam. Chelsea's got that polygamous polygamous poof. I don't know what's going on with my roof. Okay, let's see what Mary's going on. But literally, this is just an ode to Jen. This whole next session. I know. They're so funny. And honestly, I don't do this a lot with very many people. Because you don't have friends. What, like hang out? Well, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> no, just like talk to people. Is this when they tackle each other? Yes. They're, oh, they're putting they're the they're tackle in? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yes! Oh my god, I love this when she takes it down. I've had those kind of relationships within my family before. This is one of my favorite moments of all time. Oh my god! And they're doing a brown fan. This is like a greatest and, moment ever. Yeah. Holy Christine shit. knocks, like, because Mary, I think, thinks that Christine is just kidding. But at one point, Christine throws something out of her hand, and she's like, "No, I'm taking this bitch she down." She got in that park tonight, and she's yeah. and then doing Mary's this. on the ground, and then Christine just keeps going forward, like I'm like bulldozing her. This is for being basement wife. This yeah. is for having a better shower than me. Oh. This is for the wet bar <laughs> yeah. and the French doors, bitch. Oh, who's here? Oh, you got a friend. Yeah, but I gotta get her. She's so fucking chubby. There she is. It's a schmuggle. Oh, Easy, there say she hi. Is. <laughs> her eyes are <laughs> looking through all of us right now. She hasn't blinked. No, she's fine. She's excited. To Didn't be blink here. once. You just sit here. Just sit. Give me some headbutts. Thank you. Don't go near the mic, please. All right. Oh, so now they're doing the brown, the brown fam. This is so awkward. This Dude, she is going to bat your face with one of those paws any second right now. Yeah, with yeah, she isn't. She's fine. She's into it. Look at that. You need to get a cat, Jody. Cat. I, I would die from allergic reaction. Get a sphinx. Oh, ew, is that one of the hairless ones? Sorry. Yeah, the dogs, though. 
Latrice was actually very cute when I met her. She was very nice. I just feel like I I just like have a more emotional connection with George. Because I Latrice can read my mind. That's why. Okay. Inga says I will have nightmares because of that cat. No, she's the best. She's the best. She's my baby. She's also she's like 14 years old, by the way. I figured out the other day. She's like real old. Real, real old. Okay. Mr. Bigglesworth. Um, yeah, Mr. Bigglesworth was a sphinx cat this uh this brown mm -hmm. family um i don't know if you can how well can you see this oh okay can i'm like a second after you oh god there's the wet the bar in the, but do you see who's behind the wet bar there in the white who is that we got a little we got a little mona reiki action <gasps> mona made it Cody, to the party Cody's friend mona reiki best friend mona reiki your realtor Why the, the fuck would their realtor come to their daughter's graduation. That was the graduation. That wasn't even the housewarming party. That was the graduation. This is at Mary's <sighs> house. Was... That's Which the wet bar. This? Are you sure? that I don't think that was the graduation. I think the graduation this was at Janelle's house. Then? This must be a birthday. Well, we'll find out soon because we're almost to that season on Patreon. But my family is kind of weird right now. Oh, really? <laughs> relationships with people in my family right now so um this is my bff jen <laughs> she lived in las vegas when we lived there and then i left oh. las vegas she left jen basically knows everything about my life yeah my she I not? Oh. knows everything about my situation with cody she was the one person <gasps> that i could that catfish yes yes i'll be like God, I look like Mary. Jesus. You did on Halloween. You don't look like her. During that time. Jen moved from Oregon, was on her way to Texas, stopped here for the summer. Needed a they definitely got a for run the life, summer. Right? Stopped here for the summer. And she said, wait, she has kids and a husband that now have to live in Lizzie's heritage haunted ass. They came in. with her? She said, we, we stopped here. We decided that we would stay for the summer. This is weird. That they're gonna go stay at Victoria's Victor Vicky's Victorian hideaway here with Mary and her dead tooth. I'm still so disappointed that I didn't do the dead tooth last week. I'm so mad at myself. How would um, you have done that though? It would have wiped right off. I would have had ways to do this. I probably would have gotten like a little vellum and then I would have colored it dark brown and then I would have like taped it or puttied it or something. Huh. Anyway, um, oh God, Mary looks so happy with her she best friend looks, Jen. She looks really good, and she looks thin here. Like she looks like she's living her best life when she's at Lizzie's. Leave, <sighs> Mary. Jen. Leave. No one wants you to stay. Yeah. Oh, Ames. Thank you. So, yeah, so Thank you, like, Ames. That's for Latrice. So Put it towards Latrice's college fund. Latrice, Ames just gave you ten dollars. Little All right. Mm. And um, I kind of fell in love with it too. So at this point, I've been driving back and forth a lot between Flagstaff and Parowan. But my mom passed away a few months ago, and I've been like, I don't know what to do with this place. Like, her coming and staying and managing the inn for me is really going to take a lot off of my plate. I will probably be actually still traveling back and forth quite a bit just because i want to be around her <laughs> and she's really nice to the guests too most of them yeah <laughs> I don't... so funny that they must be laughing into the wee hours of the morning those two thank you victoria you should see what these two are like you like this victoria or uh, mary and jen Fridays with friends. It's lit. God, Mary's just so awkward. She just has such a weird tick of, go of saying something and then going. It's like you don't funny or witty. We've no. tuned into their Fridays with friends a couple times, and it's, yeah, it's pretty rough. It's yeah, they're not talking about anything. They're both just very quiet for long periods of time because they're reading comments. And then Mary just goes, "No, yeah, we're not. We're not going to talk about the show. No, no, we're um, we're not going to talk about anything." I want to address this super quick because people are talking about it. Uh, Lexa asked, 
how to subscribe to Patreon if you're cash only. So let her know because she said that they won't accept some kind of card she has. Um, Lorianne says, guys, get honestly, gift Patreon, card. we don't love Patreon either. Unfortunately, it's yeah. like the only platform that does the customer so support is really lit. <laughs> uh, yeah like don't get us started we are not huge fans of the platform there's just all, no but... patreon own, owns every podcast there are no <sighs> yeah. competing things like that so we will help out however we can but yeah like let how many know. times Thank we've you. had issues with like trying to lower pricing and stuff like that and it's been a yeah. nightmare or when um, my ex-boyfriend deleted my entire account and they said that they yeah, just they didn't like... have the files they're like sorry and then we had to have like a thousand people tweet at them until I yeah. finally got a real person that would talk to me. Yeah, it's terrible. It's Yeah, and great. I still didn't get anything We've back. said this. If anyone has the capability, if any of you or your friends or partners want to come up with some sort of platform, yeah, Kelly you, serves, would, just absolutely, you would make a killing yep. if you know how to do that kind of stuff. It's, it's honestly. a shit over there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, we, we try to make everything as... Uh, cost friendly as possible. We get it. Yeah. We totally get it. Um, and and, and here's another thing that needs to be your book. SS says, I lost all of Amanda's stuff. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, also, I, I brought, I was able to recover some stuff, but it was on a weird hosting site that was charging me like $500 a year. So I'm going to upload those onto our Patreon, my entire old catalog for maybe two bucks a month or something. It's going to take me a while. So, but that will happen. I promise I still have all the files. <sighs> okay. Yeah. This is a really anyway. good point. It is good that Mary has some she's, friends. She's so I, I think lonely. so too. I think that Mary is not great for people who are close to her because I think she just gets very jealous and competitive. So family member wise, probably, you know, she's not great, but yeah. Ugh, I mean, I that's why she, that's why she fell for Jackie Overton so hard. Yeah. And, ooh, day with day Thank line. You, okay. Oh. Yeah. Let us know, Kimberly. Oh, um, great. Uh, Lynn's, Lynn gave us $2. Thank you. you. She says, why don't try locals? It's only five a month. I don't understand what that means, but listen. Ooh. Okay. Kimberly just texted me separately. So we'll, we'll have to look into it. Thank you. Um, what was I just going to say too? Totally forgot. Oh, Mary. Yeah. Mary and her catfish, Jackie, we know there's some sort of Jackie Robin connection. Right. Like somebody Robin was friends with. Is Seth. friends with Jackie. I can see it. I can see Robin is diabolical. And you'll, mm. see, you'll see how, how she, for 17 seasons, she's managed to kind of pretend to really be this like mm, beaker face. Yeah. And today it's about to come out. You, you'll, you've never seen her be this. Piss. It's not her. It's like a, a, di a different person comes out. So she this is like probably how she got. So this is probably how she really was with Mary when she got married to divorce Cody because she was probably like, "Hey, I listen. I know everything about what you've been talking about mm -hmm. with Sam or Jackie or whatever. So here's what you're gonna do. I don't think that happened you're until after the divorce. Cody. That what but the timeline it was all is... during that time because Mary I thought it was because of the divorce. No, oh, no, no, no. She was talking Mary to Jane Netflix. says her name was Kendra. Hey, Mary Jane, I thought you were traveling and you weren't yeah. able to join us. Welcome. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, these are all things I know. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm getting ready for it. Ooh, okay. Katie, okay. did you say this on purpose? She said, Katie, the, the, epi the end of this episode is bananas. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Mary Prudy, right. sister wife. Oof. Okay. Here we go. Oh, right. Oh, Cody looks thrilled. I'm seeing this next frame here. Yeah, she's very, very loyal to Mary. Yeah, she's, she's just very, very loyal to Mary. I don't know if she's giving her good advice or not, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are they a couple? Like, I almost think that they might have, like, more than a friendship. I think they're you know, I'm not saying that to be themselves. funny. Yeah. No, I, no, I think they might be. Because there's a weird picture they're about to show where they're like throwing leaves up in the air together. And I'm like, me and Jody would never pose for a picture <laughs> like that. And then we just like tickle each other. We're like Ooh. tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle monster coming at you. And then we tackle each other and roll in the leaves. Immediately um, what comes to mind is Jennifer Grey and Ferris Bueller's Day Off where I just rapid fire kick you in the face and run away. <laughs> 
just because I don't like tickling. Okay. Uh, oh, I no, I do not either. And uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, but, but Cody just has to say, he can't just say something nice about someone. He has to say something backhand or whatever. He's like, he's like, Jen is very loyal. I mean, I don't know if she's giving her good advice because I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Mary makes probably 10 times the amount that you do right now, Cody. Yeah. So, so just... Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. I'm sure that it's very helpful for Mary to have a close friend outside of the family. Mary's relationship with the family is a strained one. There's a whole history of struggle, you know, from the very beginnings. And so she needs a relationship outside of their sister wives, for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. You're totally going to appreciate these with sister wives. Jody. We get like pretty <laughs> wasted sometimes. God. We never act like that. Oh my god. I I would join you in a laughing impression, but I'll start hacking. Uh I'll start coughing. But have we ever been this unhinged or laughed? I this think it was the there? alliteration of Sunday with sister wives that you and I have just said, hey, it's Sunday, sister wives, sister wives, sister Sunday. Sister wives Sunday, yeah. But I think they like get off on uh, alliteration and grammar, I guess. I don't At least they share the same bad humor. I guess. Okay, I, I Jen doesn't think this is funny. Uh, Jen thinks also, this is her 15 minutes of fame. There's no way she thinks that's funny. That's pain. Mar Mary's like, oh, wait, can we not be a sister wife and a best friend? Sorry, Robin. I'm like, Robin doesn't give a fuck. Robin is so excited that you have Jen. Oh my god. She probably recruited Jen. She probably did. They're probably paying Jen. That's why Cody's got to work so hard. He's paying Jen 200 bucks an hour. Oh my god. You know, the sister-wife relationship is pretty complicated. You have to work really hard at it for it to be oh. a good one. You've Robin. never worked. How do you know what working hard is? <laughs> Do you see in this talking head how even when she's just like, look, look, even when she's just talking about just she's just saying regular sentences, her eyebrows are just like she's going to have the worst frown line. They go like older. this. Yeah. Like, can't she just keep her face relaxed? Good God. Loco Vision. Thank you. You're the best. $20. Thank you. Oh, my God. MVP yeah, of the we show. I, yeah, I'm looking at just like the muscles on her face is crazy. I have very strong gonna, brow muscles, have... and that's wild. Yeah, like mine are like, I feel like my, most of my lines are smile lines. Yeah, I don't, I like, can't. How do you make that go up? Because you like frown. Yeah, but mine and go her, down. Her eyebrows like exist by them. They have their own mind. That's They're an entity crazy. of their own. Okay. What is Robin's necklace, by the way? Why does that look like a v vaginal opening? He said that on a says the other sister. Who said that? He, he, he oh, said she's okay. wearing a vagina necklace. Yeah, no, it really does. <laughs> yeah, so it's not pretty. Mm. By the way, I was looking at my own closet today, and I'm like, I really do own a lot of blouses like Robin's that I think are really <laughs> pretty. And I'm like, I can never wear these now. She made cute blouses not cool anymore. I think if you wore that. With some cool jeans, not curls like that. Yeah, I think that hair is what ruins it. Yeah, it, it just looks dowdy. She's very dark. Like, she's got the dark eyebrows, dark hair, dark blouses. Just everything is too dark. If she lightened it up, even if she wore this blouse with her little crunchy curl thing that she had going on, it makes her look so much better. It'd be better. And... It's, it's always this thing that the rest of us look at, like, oh, I want that kind of a thing. We've been sister wives. We've been sister wives. Oh, oh, yeah. Janelle. Handsome woman. Handsome woman. Janelle. Janelle Janice. and what's the other one's name? Uh, like Jennifer. Oh, something. Janelle's mom's name, you guys. Mo it was like Bonnie? Bonnie. No, that's like Mary's mom. Bonnie. Mary's oh, mom is Bonnie. Right. Well, someone will let us know. Rachel. <laughs> so after Cody and Janelle got married, Cody's dad married Janelle's mom. They tell stories about how it was kind of difficult and hard at first, but through the years, they figured their stuff out. That's the ultimate goal. If you're not in a decent sister wife relationship, then, you know, hopefully you can kind of work through whatever. And then when you're older, kind of a thing. 
Like literally, my mom died, she dropped everything and she's like, okay, I'll be there. Like no question, she just came. I was there to be there for her so that she could focus on what she needed to focus on and I could handle whatever needed to be handled. And she did. She took some days off from her job. You know, she okay, but you also weren't a total. Sorry she for the. Left. Sorry, pause. Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry for. I'm, I'm going to use a phrase here, but I'm sorry. The reason Jen came was because you were a total cunt to Christine and Janelle. You weren't <coughs> the Jen. You laugh and giggle about LuLaRoe on Fridays with friends. That's why she was there for you. You yeah. were a bitch to Janelle and Christine. That's why they're not there. You wouldn't even let their infant toddler children walk through your apartment don't don't even come after me could you see uh, i think i think you dare because everyone agreed with me last week yeah, at least fine. during the winter months the snowy months but now oh they're walking like, five steps they're so thing. mean to mary mary was a monster to janelle oh she definitely Cody, was Cody even admitted that the whole reason he wanted christine or really any woman to come in as a third wife was to play middleman between yeah. uh, Janelle and Mary because Mary was a bitch. Yeah. So yeah, that's why they're not there for you. And what has Mary ever been there? <coughs> was Mary there for Isabel's surgery? Was she there calling Robin being like, hey, talk to Cody. He's got to go with his daughter to her surgery. She's never done that. Yeah, but to be fair, uh, if she called, like her number's on block with Cody. Well, no, that's why I said she called Robin. Oh, yeah. Mary's number on Cody's phone is do not answer. Oh, or she's spam. in there. She's yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She got on a plane and she came down. It didn't matter that there was COVID. It didn't matter that I was like hundreds of miles away from Northern Oregon to Utah. See the leaf throwing? <sighs> Look at it. Look at this. Oh. Another thing you and I would never do is wear red. We're not red girls. Oh, nothing no, nothing no. wrong with it. I just look Mary like shouldn't wear red either, though, beast wearing red. Shoes. Well, no one should wear LuLaRoe. Sorry, guys. If anyone's a LuLaRoe girl. Like uh, Lula. Eesh. Let's comfy. All right. Also, who does it that? My matter. allergies would. I mattered. And it feels good to matter to somebody. Feels good. I'm going to see her works. all the way down. So Christine has let us all know that she wants to get together and have a little chat with us. So I'm going to be heading back down to Flagstaff so I can get in on that little family discussion. <laughs> okay, well, don't bitch about Christine leaving the family if you're not ever there anyway. <laughs> you don't even live How are there. you any better? You don't even go here. <laughs> yeah. So everything that I've been working towards is like happening now. Yeah, I can't imagine how scary this is going to be because it's not just like leaving this part of your life, but, this. you know, Janelle and Robin and... Well, yeah, let's talk about it. Aunt Wick says, maybe choose a relationship where you matter, Mary. Yeah. I, and I've seen this a lot, people saying this. I think that the catfish thing fucked her up so much because that was her one, that was her only other relationship other than Cody. So I don't I think it see fucked what that her up. You. I think it fucked her over. Yeah, but now how is she going to, she's never going to, she's like the one time I got out there and put myself out there, this huge fucking thing happened, ruined my life. And yeah, but she still doesn't admit that she did anything wrong. It was that someone took advantage of her and the family. So the best thing no, she could have done was just to admit, I was feeling lonely. Someone yeah. came in, made me feel really good. And <laughs> I had like a lapse in reality and judgment. And I was thinking of leaving Cody and the family. And then having gone through this, I realized what I could have lost. That's how she should have played it. Oh, thank you, thank pomegranate you. What uh what are you paying us in here? Yo, uh, she pays $5.99, but it's in German. German. Wouldn't in Germany. That be Euros, Amanda? Just maybe. I don't fucking know. You two are great, funny, and <laughs> pretty. You. I'd be so oh. happy if we could watch the old seasons together. We're handsome. We're very handsome women. Handsome, women. handsome women ourselves. <laughs> um, 
No, I mean, obviously, Cody, after the catfishing, he was done with Mary and he's not coming. But then again, oh. like she can't be bitching about, oh, the family's never around or that Christine's leaving when she herself is never around and she could leave. Euro, see? Remember the yeah, whole everyone wants, thing? everyone wants us to do these old seasons. We'll figure something. We'll, we'll talk, okay? We'll talk. we'll talk. We'll see. We'll see how things are going. Exactly. All right, here we go. I'm starting to... I'm starting to sound like Corey from Teen Mom again. <laughs> I just hope they don't hate me. Yeah, you don't oh, care. God, I you. hope they do. And then you yeah. have to never talk to him again. I got an offer on my house. Cody knows. Okay. I haven't told my sister I've yet. I want to tell them in person. So let's start moving into Gwen's. I sold my bedroom set like a month ago and it was just too much, too much baggage, too many hard memories in my room with him. And it, I just needed to let it go. So I sold my bedroom furniture set and then I slept on the couch for two weeks until we moved Isabel. And now that Isabel's gone, I'm just going to move her bed into Gwen's old room and sleep there instead. So we're going to primarily just stay on this level. I want to have the house available for people to come look at. Truly, really just chilling. I love it. Truly, I, I feel like this. What? When did? Wait. What's the timeline here? Because Truly's wearing a huge sweater that says "naughty but nice" and then shorts. Hmm. So I feel like it's not around Christmas at all. Go oh, because September. They move in September. So right. She's yeah. No, no way. It's not Christmas. Yeah, because time. remember when they were talking with all the wives and Robin and Cody was like, oh, it's still snowing outside. It's a little cold, so I can't. Yeah, but that's, but I remember that Christine wanted to move by September. So this yeah, is so before this is summer. Christmas. I, uh, I was wearing candy cane flannel pants the other day. I think you're inside your house. You wear whatever the hell you want, whatever the season. Oh, of course. Yes. I, like that. I, actually I told you I bought a 3XLG sweatshirt, a Hanes sweatshirt off of Amazon. Yeah. I told you that, right? And it's like yeah. so big and cozy. I'm so yeah, I tiny, you, like, you guys. It's gonna fit snugly. Um, yesterday <laughs> yeah, when I, it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I changed my entire like bedroom set, uh, which I don't do regularly enough. And then when I was looking for a new duvet, I found this brand new duvet that my mom had bought me. That because again, when I moved in, I broke my ankle ten days later. So my mom, everything in this house, I don't know where it is. My mom did it. So I'm finding stuff every day. But she got me a whole duvet with just big gingerbread men all over it for Christmas. Oh, for Christmas. And That's I'm cute. totally doing that. I can probably do it now. Too. She changes out her, her comforters and her sheets. And oh, I mean, yeah, my mom probably has wash. like 18 different sets of sheets because she would go to Steinmar, Jody, or TJ Maxx or anywhere. And she'd get sheets upon sheets upon sheets. I, it's too much for me. Oh, I love new sheets. The, all the cats were in bed with me last night because of these new... New ordinals. or freshly washed. That's different. Uh, freshly washed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Freshly washed sheets and shaved legs. Oh. I wouldn't so know what shaved legs good. was like. <laughs> I, the, the area around my ankle, like, it's still, like, it's just, like, hair is like this. <gasps> like, no, it's not. I can show you. It's it's just I'm so scared to like. Maybe so that's like what when I crab cakes was like, maybe it's a little oh, scratchy. He... No, oh, I think it was probably the I, IBS outbreak. Yeah, thank you, Gigi. <laughs> it was a super perfect scared. timing. Sorry, your Miss Stevenson is as IBS outbreak, Gigi. No, there's um, these there's these flannel um sheets set from like 1980 that my mom oh, has, and it's just and it's worn down to just like mm. nothing. Yes. And oh man, it was fucking awesome sleeping in that. We have some night. Kermit Hideous. the Frog pillowcases, oh, yeah. and yeah. they're like these weird. There's like weird black X's or I don't know whatever, and it's Kermit the Frog, and those things are like butter. Yeah, I'm sure keep, they're 100 keep, thread count, but for some sheets. reason, as long as you're keeping so them clean. soft. They're at oh, my mom's yeah. house, and every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to steal that Kermit the Frog one. Melanie um, says, I broke both my knees in Switzerland and couldn't walk for seven weeks. Girl. Oh, my God. I know. It's, it's traumatic. It's you traumatic. sound like Diana from Real House of Beverly Hills when she was, oh, poor 
poor little girl from Bosnia and I had private I ski school and my yes. dad got me very expensive skis and he pushed me down slope and say, oh, there you go. She was a monster. Anyway. So um, you say. Lena Newman, thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> so you say. So oh, you learning should. about the Canadian women. Don't you from October to May, don't you know? Hey. Yeah, I know. Also, who's who, who's Karen? Who's looking at me? Don't don't look at me. Don't look at my fucking <laughs> legs. God. All right. Uh, where are we here? You guys are amazing. You... Okay, sorry. What do you um... think, Latrice? Treasy. All right. Oh, okay. I'll save my question for the end. Okay. Sure. Here we go. No, thank you. Oh, the slaps. What a good little oh. Is she so oh. sad? We're moving. Yeah. But she also I see I think what they're doing here is they're because <coughs> I was like, why are they setting up when they're moving like in a couple of weeks? But I think that they're maybe putting this down to stage the house a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cause they did and have she to didn't mention it. She mentioned in a previous episode that she was gonna maybe have oh. Gwendolyn and Gwendolyn's friends live down there down yeah, on the she main floor. To that, Right. And then she was just going to keep like her bedroom for her and truly upstairs. But now that they're selling, I would think you, you can, just want to like bring everything the, down. You can see the Zillow listing of Christine's house when it was for sale. Sell. Ooh, how did and, it look? Uh, it looked good. It, it looked like bare. But like the woman said, like, just make it look like, like it doesn't have any pieces of you in it. It's just like plain enough where it's like I could do yeah. this with it so because i was yeah. like why are they moving like just both of you just sleep in in a hotel for a couple of days honestly when but we moved out of our old house i let the kids like i just did like fun stuff in the room before we moved out like when we already had an offer on the house or whatever like i had charlie's bed like i like pushed the head of it into the closet so it was all like a little <gasps> oh i used to whatever. love sleeping in my closet yeah like, i used to like, love that shit stuff. Yeah, uh, or like, and they page his room into like a whole fort sort of thing. Thank you, Kim Thorison, for the super sticker. You guys oh, are awesome. Thank you. You are That's putting Latrice to. through college. Right, Latrice? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make it look super generic when you sell house for sure. There's yeah. really nothing she can do about it except, except it. Love you. And we're going to do it. So she has the best outlook she can have. She's just chosen to accept it. Okay. And be okay with it, but that's all. She's just okay with it. Wait, you struggle with sheets? Yeah. Putting on sheets? Putting on sheets. You don't... Okay, ten-year-old. I hate God. putting putting on a fitted sheet. I will be in a full body sweat by the end of it. I hate putting on a fitted sheet. Oh, the it worst sucks. is if you have bunk beds and you have to put sheets on. That's the worst. The worst is if you're. I don't, I'm fine now because my bed is in the middle, like the middle of the if room. If you're up against the a middle. wall. If, uh, Cause I used to, until now I've always been up against a wall and that <gasps> sucks. Cause you gotta, oh, I can't for that, sleep against a wall. Ooh. Oh, for that top corner, you gotta like thrust your whole body and like push as far as you can. Well, you have to kind of like hop up. You have to yeah. hop up so you can pull the. To get as much, <laughs> as much sheet as possible to flounder. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so oh, see, I love it. I'm a little afraid that she might not have a mattress cover on this. And yes, I'm sorry. Doesn't. I judge people who don't have a mattress cover on. Okay, there. I said it. It's just disgusting. You need a mattress cover over your mattress. Ugh. No, I definitely do because I sweat so much. Okay. God, yeah. Just taking my sheets off yesterday, I was like, ooh. Hey, by the way, <laughs> I'm going to need my... a new queen mattress. If anyone has like a hookup with some sort of uh, hybrid spring foam thing sort of situation holler at your girl over are here are you getting rid of your purple mattress it's just so big and stuff and yeah okay yeah but i Thank love you. the purple they're just super super expensive <laughs> she changed her shirt yeah now she's wearing a jack daniels shirt Oh, that is way too low to the ground. I need to be higher. He can live his own life, and I'm not going to question him on his choices. So he doesn't have the right to question me on mine. 
taking truly. And then- <laughs> Christine is like, that's such oh, a shit kid thing. Fuck. Just like lugging this fucking thing across the room. And truly's like on the bed, like, you look like you're struggling. You know? <laughs> such a kid <laughs> thing where you're like, yeah, I'm struggling. Yeah. Oh my god. You want to jump in here? This is hilarious, Jennifer. <laughs> my Fitbit picks up the activity as sport when I change my sheets and make my bed. <laughs> I've had it I've had a kick off when I'm grocery shopping like I must be fucking flying through the aisles of my heart where it's like your your heart rate's raised a little bit like either I'm a huge fucking badass and way out of shape no I like uh, I did the uh, I did my laundry and uh changed the litter in the basement yesterday but I was also so sick yesterday and then I walked up three flights of stairs and I was like huffing about and I just sat in front of my fan with my fan like this <laughs> I was like Whew. listen okay. house cleaning works up a sweat like you really can work up a sweat especially when you have, when you live in a condo you have like three flights of stairs yeah, I have it's like a sucks. 1970s tri level there's a lot of stairs going up and down all right yeah um, and the stairs into your basement I feel would stress me out it's because you can do laundry I need down to rebuild there. those stairs uh, yeah the, do it that top steps a little short I've had I can just I can just picture you in some like in some like overalls and your hair up and just like <laughs> Go and so your hair and your I love DIY acting. stuff actually. I love oh, this kind of stuff. God. Um, I just want to point this out here in Norway. We use jersey sheets and duvets. American beds are weird to us. I made my way to that TikTok algorithm a while back. I'm with you. Love a duvet. You gotta have a duvet over something. My uh, my uh, my bed set has like a built-in like square, so you can't have a duvet. You'll see. You can't, what do you mean you can't have a duvet? Like the mattress like goes kind of inside the 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 wood. Yeah, but you just like lay it over. But I like seeing can... the wood. The wood is oh. so pretty. <laughs> I didn't know it's you were bougie. like just much of a timber head. <laughs> fellow Jody. What Gershov Gersh- is that hey, a try fellow this. Polish Jody? What? Oh I'm gonna say Gershvetsky. Gershvetsky? Is did I say that right? Gersh- Gershvetsky. Gershvetsky. Gorzuski, Grzewski, I think. Mm, I was a uh, who said a, it a right? Glaguski or Glazinski before. I know, shocking. Oh, okay. I mean, you never guess from that profile. That knows. Melanie says, would say, "Oh, Jody, no duvet." Oh, sorry, yes, what? Your dad would say, no what? duvet. Oh, my dad would say, "I have the map of Poland written all over my face." I have the map compliment. of U- Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, um, Justice for Ukraine. What? American beds. Okay, so from what I've gotten, let, let's go over this duvet gate really quickly. A duvet, like you get a down comforter or something and you put it in a duvet, not just like just a comforter on top. And I am pro top sheet. <gasps> oh, I duvet. Know it's oh, bougie. no, I agree with a duvet. I don't agree with a comforter. No, the, uh, the, the bed skirt. Was that never even mentioned? We're not even talking about okay, bed skirt is different. That has that wasn't skirt. mentioned. That's what I was thinking. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Okay, yes, okay. I always use a duvet. Oh my god. Yeah, so duvet. So you slip wheels. something in the duvet. And yeah. I mean a comforter, you could always put a duvet over the comforter. I've done that. Like in yeah. my kids' rooms. I'm like, I'm not buying a duvet. Oh, Justine thing. is here. Justine no needs her top, top sheet. Guys, if you I did not grow up with the top sheet. I thought I remember I'd go to my friends' houses and they had top sheets, and I was like, oh, they're like, I like I thought they were very like Laura Ingalls Wilder, like the Beaver Cleaver family. And so when I grew up, I was like, when I grow up, I'm gonna have a top sheet. And then I went to college and I got a top sheet, and I have to have a top sheet now. No, I agree. I, I'm still I'm still embarrassed about the fact that the thing I was talking about earlier was a bed skirt. I cannot okay. have a bed skirt because of the square sure. wood duvet always because I like to have a cute little duvet. And you Always can change them out seasonally. Exactly. Easy to clean. Right now I'm clean. I'm cleaning my duvet right now. So I only have the the uh, the blanket. Um, I don't like a top sheet because I I slam around too much at night that then it gets like wrapped around everywhere and I'm hot. I run hot. Uh, okay. Okay. I like well, I mean, I have to have the top sheet because I run hot too. But if I don't have a top sheet, then I can't have something light over me because the rapist killer under my bed is going to grab my yeah. ankles if I don't have the to gremlin. Die. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> like I'm going to get killed and murdered if I don't have a top sheet on. Um, No top sheet. 
and wow. separate comforters for each person. Oh, Ooh, that's a good idea. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I live alone. So. No, why? Okay, see, what's the difference between a comforter and a duvet? Like, why not? Like, why are you like pro comforter and anti duvet? Is it that it swims around inside the duvet? Kind of does, oh, though. Yeah. Especially if you have yeah. pets, because even my, if you Walter try to buy like, those dig. edges, someone better yeah. come up with. That's another. I mean, billion dollar idea. If you can get yeah. something to keep it all straight on the bottom, they'll of the top. make the they'll make the the comforter with like little things that you yeah, can like tie. But even then, it it gets fucked up in there. Yeah, and then you knot working. it, and then you can't get it unknotted when you go to wash. Oh, it. yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, th th we're giving you guys some Ugh. multi million dollar ideas here. I, I know competitor for Patreon, yes, and duvet covers that and comforters that stick together. That's right, that's right. Yeah. See, what the fuck are we? <sighs> that's really and these browns think they have problems. By the way, we're at 18 10, and uh, they're setting up this room. But I'll bring her back. He oh, can God, see? Her. Every time I come into town, he can have her come over and spend time with him but i don't know we haven't seen him since we got back he hasn't been <gasps> over since we got back we've been back for three days whoa but he's so desperate to spend time with truly yeah 50 50 I'm sure he, yeah. obviously I'm sure he, the, those three days were spent with him and robin they were busy setting up a room for truly right that's what they were doing that's why he was busy oh yeah they I were setting they were up a room for truly at their house yeah oh because he was desperate desperate okay so I don't know and I don't care. Yeah, I'll see Truly for two and a half weeks, move Gwendolyn without him, all of it. And I'm like, dude, life is passing you by. We're leaving. I don't want to go over to Christine's house, but I don't have a place for Truly. I don't Look at his hair hair, his little two Wait. front ringlets. What? He doesn't have a place for Truly. Oh, it's weird. Wait, did he just say that? Yeah. Wait, let's I see, don't let's have see. a place for truly. Life is passing me by. We're leaving. I don't want to go over to Christine's house, but I don't have a place for truly. I don't. My my bedrooms are full. We got to make some kind of arrangement. It doesn't have anything to do with me not wanting to see truly. It's really. You live in a mansion with like eighty five. That 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 huge couch that takes up the entire center of the room. She can't sleep there. Can't hang out. Well. Basement. She wanted a, a room for, for the truly, basement, which I understand. Then. If you're going to have 50-50, so half the yeah. week, yeah, she should probably have a room, especially if she's at that age where she needs a little bit more privacy. Hey, listen, girls 18 online. I just blocked her, don't, don't worry. Yeah, we don't need <laughs> hot girls. Hello? There's hundreds <laughs> of us hot women here, okay? Um, yeah, and also, if she can't spend the night because she doesn't have a room, maybe, like, go out during the day. Take There's an idea. Oh, and you don't want to go to Christine's house. Right. Well, guess what grown-ups have to do? Things they don't want to do in order to see their kids. So uh, here's the thing. He doesn't know how to entertain truly on his own. So he's like, well, I can't, I, I don't want to go to Christine's because I don't want to hang out there. I don't want to bring her to my house because then she'll have to interact with the kids I actually love. But then if I take her out on my own, Robin's not going to be there to entertain her. So what do I do? And also she has three adult kids that could move out. Get up there or lives. like two of those daughters move in together and share a room because they're old yeah. enough to. Oh, Latrice College Fund. Molly, thank you. Oh, Molly, one of my favorite names. Yeah, room with the red couches. Good point. That's an office or something. Yeah, make up an area in the basement. They have that whole basement level. They could, that could be amazing. Christine K says, "Take Cody, take Truly to the Olive Garden. <gasps> oh, be lit. He's yes. not spending money on that. That's a couple hours with a never ending pasta bowl. Please. God, this is okay. insane. Yeah. How about tell Dayton bye bye because he's old enough he can. Well, go he off. did. He did. I <laughs> almost wonder if Dayton, like, if he went full like Logan on this and he just doesn't talk to anyone anymore. I feel like Dayton's like, I can't, I can't with this. Family. Or maybe he went back to his dad, closer to his dad. Yeah. 
His real dad. Changed his name to David. Yep. Dina Gibbs, yes. super sticker. Thank you. Oh, Dina. <laughs> I'm sorry for coughing, guys. I'm Dina, so as they would say on the Jersey Shore. Dina. Um, Dina. Look at Cody's curls here. They're like oh. fresh. He is so proud of those front wait, curls wait, wait, today. Wait, He's wait, like, wait. it's a good oh. front curl day. Wait, why can't you stand? Oh, there. Wait, what's happening here? I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> it's like blocking. <laughs> oh, it's the reflection. The reflection. Oh. Anyway, there's two little ringlets that are usually like down here. Like, -doo -doo -doo. Uh, oh yeah, he's feeling it. Yeah, yeah exactly, Michelle. Yeah. yeah, you do what you have to do to see your kids. And a lot of people oh. are making like saying like, yeah, he's like, I don't want to hang out with Christine. Tell me a divorce couple that's like, I can't wait. To go yeah, over there so and much fun. Oh my god, I can't wait to come over later today. Great to see like, Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Got such a great energy. Ugh, they're horrible. Exactly. Suck it up. Go over there and co-parent. Exactly. Around, oh, because your ego I think this is, is it. damaged. This is it, Jody. Okay, okay. So okay. I mean, we're at the point of no return. Rachel Ratch. Thank you. I think I might have a little bit left of money. I don't. I kind of want to run downstairs and refill my melted drink. Ice that <laughs> okay. I really want to refill my drink before this. You want to go? Yeah. Can you dun, tap dun, dance dun, for dun, three dun, minutes? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. see. Um, Justine. Shore Store Podcast. Speaking of Diener, Cody and Robin use the same wand. What does that mean? That sounds dirty, Justine. Please clarify. I'm not as learned as most of you as most of you are. Oh yeah, suck it up for sure. QEM late self to rewatch. Oh, we love you too, Rachel Rach. He tapes them. I'm like missing something because something sounds really <laughs> sounds really dirty here. Um, oh good. I'm I'm glad that's one of your most popular nicknames. Deaner. Rachel Rach. You guys are the sweetest. <laughs> Cody looks. Like Marie Antoinette. Oh, God. You know he loves a good curly girl plop. Loves it. Uh, truly could get picked up from Janelle's. Really good point. Yeah. Or he could be like, hey, Gwendolyn, go pick up Truly and then watch you stop over. But oh, that would mean Gwendolyn would have to come to the house too. Uh, let's be honest, even if he had a room for her, he would still be upset that Truly's not making it easy to have relationships. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, I'm trying to think of what I was listening to, to some other, you okay there? That was, that was the <laughs> fastest. Yeah, the breath was working out. Fastest I fucking hobbled up and down the stairs in my life. I'm trying to think of what I was listening to, and there was like speculation that uh, maybe Robin's younger kids have some special, oh, hair wand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking uh, like a Sex in the City reference or something like that. Um, I know what you're talking about. Did you see this uh, see the super sticker oh. from Shelby? Oh, thanks, Shelby. Oh, one of Thank my favorite Shelby. names. We were just talking about uh, drink, drink, uh, drink your juice. Magnolias earlier. Drink your juice, Shelby. I love that name, by the way. That was on my short list of girls' names. Um, now I'm coughing. What was I, I say? Oh, downstairs. about Robin's kids having <clears throat> possible special needs. I don't think so. I don't think that's why we don't see Robin's kids. I think it's just the, the, they, they're 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 they're, extra they're sheltered. Yeah, yeah. They they don't want. It's them that on Robin TV. is their mom. Robin and Cody are their parents. Yeah, and we've seen Solomon. He seems like a normal ish kid, and I mean. Ariola, I think it's probably just a little bit more on the spoiled side. She's a little outspoken or whatever. Um, ooh, this could be interesting. I think he right. would be weirded out and he would shame Janelle, Christine, and Mary if they had some sex toys. But I think Robin, he'd be like, oh. Mm. Um, this wait, Melanie Gore says her son has never been to a doctor about being on the spectrum. See yes, that I feel I heard like that too about Dayton. I heard she... that's conflicted because earlier, like the very first time she mentions it, she says Dayton's been diagnosed with autism. But then later on, they mention it again a few seasons later, and she does say, "No, I can just tell based on yeah. whatever." So, yeah. so I think that was her thinking that he did, and I'm a little. 
biased because I used to teach and oh thank you Debbie you're Debbie back. Gutierrez. Oh, she actually so left funny. a really good comment in our Facebook group. I'm gonna try to find it. It was like fascinating about did oh, you see it? Okay. About no. who should be the host of the next season. Oh interesting Debbie. Yeah. Debbie what you're um um like a mommy comic oh you have to remind me I always get like the first part of everyone's TikToks and Instagrams. Um but yeah Oh, here, just to double back on this about Dayton. I swear it was the same thing that other people are saying. Like she said something I could have diagnosed him with. I don't know. I taught fourth grade and I have had, well, I can't diagnose, but I definitely have had some parents that I suspected maybe had a touch of like Munchausen and I, mm, you I know. can see Robin being like that. Yeah, you know, walks like a duck and talks like a duck. Robin's pretty much because Dayton he? always seemed he might. I mean, he he very well might be on the spectrum. Totally I think, fine. I think but most people mean, are on the spectrum a little bit, though. Yeah, but that doesn't think? mean that he can't get along and that he has to be babied right. and pampered and anything All like that. All the kids seem to love him. Although we do know that. Peyton kind of bullied the kids and yeah, Peyton's Peyton a little Gosh, problematic. Oh, Canadian dollar, Amanda. Oh, Canadian dollar. Oh, that's a good amount. Thank you. You're going to get like $5. Ooh. No, <laughs> not on the American side. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, here's the comment that Debbie Gutierrez yes. wrote, and it's fascinating because she is a, a, a host, like a TV host. Yeah. Um, I'm obsessed with her now, yes. now that I know she is. So yeah. she says, <clears throat> On last week's podcast, there was some discussion about who would be the perfect host for the tell-all. I'm not a psychologist, but I am a TV host of over 25 years. That is so fucking cool, dude. That being said, <clears throat> I believe Robin, Cody, and Mary would all be problematic in an interview. You can't really get the truth if you're interviewing a narcissist, a liar, and a denier. If you expose them for who they are, they could literally walk off set, and then you have a no-show. It takes a very special mm. kind of host to interview reality stars. You have to give them just enough rope to hang themselves and not make them uncomfortable enough that they shut down or walk off. It's a great point. Um, Listen, Suki, I don't <laughs> want to talk about Christine. The fact that you called her Suki. So annoying. She was actually good. Like, who's the one who does 90 Day Fiance? She annoys Sean me. Robinson. Of. Yeah, I don't really like her. It starts to get heated. And she's like, well, we're not going to find anything out with this. Let's <laughs> well, go like on. We're not going to find yeah. the result. Let's yeah. just let Emily off the hook for all the shitty things she did this season. For making a black man scoop horse shit in front of her oh while she yelled God. at him and told him he was doing a bad job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's more. I was asked to fill in for Niecy Nash okay. to host Clean House. <sighs> Niecy makes it look easy. In fact, she called me personally and told me it would be fun and oh so easy. On the show, I've never heard of Clean House. I, I'm I feel like that would be our kind of show. Seems oh, I like think it's about cleaning it, houses. But, okay. On the show Clean House, there were a lot of people with personality disorders, obviously. Uh, you can see it just by the way they keep their homes. And let me tell you, the cameras cannot capture the smell of some of these houses that we went into. Oh god. You also didn't see the way that some of these homeowners treated their children off camera. Uh, producers want to have them expose themselves as truly awful humans, and the host has to keep the conversation going. You can't make them mad or they will walk off or shut down. You also have to protect your position as a host and not let them take over. It is a slippery mm. slope. This is an impossible job. I don't know how you do it, Debbie, because I would just freak yeah. out. I, I would walk off set or I would just start fucking screaming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd go <laughs> like, off. Fuck you! You have to well. interview people who lie to your face or are hurtful to their family members, or even dangerous, it is beyond frustrating. This is probably a good reason why that adults adopting adults show got taken <gasps> off. Like I, I, I would love to know the background on that because we were going to yeah. cover that whole thing. We started, then, we did the first two episodes, I think, and then it yeah. got yanked. Which yeah, I think it's is at really mommy good. comic. Thank you, Debbie. I wasn't sure if there was numbers or anything after it. Um, yeah, go check Debbie out. Really good take on that one. That's a really good point. It's easy to yeah. say, like, oh, call them on it. But, yeah, you call them on it, and then oh, they walk more. off. 
I have guest hosted on The View, The Chew, and hosted my own mm-hmm. show on PBS for three seasons. God, you're so cool. I went from interviewing smart, funny, and intelligent people to interviewing trashy, literally, people. Reality stars are the worst. They are demanding, rude, and have huge inflated egos. I got through it and apparently did pretty good. They asked me to come back the next season, but I turned down the job and never looked back. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, everything you just said, just... It's exclamation such a good point. point on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nicole, I just want to reiterate. Oh, uh, we don't think there's anything wrong with being this, but I actually do think oh, I am on the spectrum and it meant well, it's undiagnosed. No, I think there, as many of you are saying, I'm trying to get through all these comments here. It's that Robin used that as an excuse to, to be like, debilitate him and mm-hmm you know, make him almost like codependent upon her. Dayton is one of the most likable kids on the show. Yeah. I fucking love him. Yeah. Every time they showed him, it's like, oh, you know, great. He was always friendly with the other guys. Actually, was it in season 16 when they were all out on Coyote Pass? He was hanging out next to Janelle and was it Hunter and Gabe and Garrison? Mm -hmm. And all the boys were talking young men were talking and Janelle was like, Oh, Dayton, you have to kind of back up. Cause your mom is, you know? Yeah. And you felt bad for Dayton. Cause you knew like, brothers. I want to talk to people that aren't my mom, somebody here. Okay. This is coming back. Also just by the way, Debbie Gutierrez, you're so fucking cool. Um, random. <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, damn it, we always press me at the same time. <clears throat> Okay, so this throw this is blowing the lid <laughs> off of everything we just talked about. <laughs> and you're right, you're fucking right. Random six 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 three says, "Okay, nah. I logged in to inform y'all a duvet is the comforter. The duvet cover is what you're calling a duvet." Yeah, I know we're fucking stupid. Okay, <laughs> I love that random like made an account us? and logged in. To us. <laughs> They're just like random six 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 three. Okay. Like just, just give me a username so I can get in there. Okay, we're, we're like, wrong. how many coding users are stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, we know. Thank you though. And thank you for joining oh, us. Okay. It's fine day. Are you ready? Is everyone ready for this? Because okay, we're yes. all about to get really mad. I'm gonna take another drink. Take another drink, Jody. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. People are saying Plathville too. Oh, I made my too strong. Inmate to roommate. I've seen this show as well. Um yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get through good. all these comments here. Oh, Diana. Oh, just nobody li- seems to care about a show. Is- my favorite princess. Oh, thank you, Diana. Oh, yes, Diana. Nobody oh, seems and to care about Diana. a show as much as sister wives. That's why we oh, don't sorry. know what to do. Hold on. You're going to love this just for a moment here. Diana, also from, is that from Anna of Green Gables? Diana Barry, Amanda. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're we're regrouping. We're regrouping. Okay, Debbie, you're a star at Mommy Comic. Okay. All I'm very right. glad we're over Duvet Gate. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, let's go. see. Cleanse it. Aunt says cleansing breath to get through the <laughs> yes. rest of the episode. And, and this is going to be 20 entire minutes of <laughs> pure rage. So let's just all take a deep breath together. Wait, is the rest <sighs> of this the family meeting? Yeah. And then it goes into the whole next episode. And it oh gets my god! Me. Okay, and also okay. you're gonna love Janelle, by the way. Oh, good. Okay. We're at 19 minutes and two seconds, y'all. Mm-hmm. My real estate agent is coming over. Oh wait, no, okay, this is still light. Okay, Terry is a real estate agent in Flagstaff. And she's actually a friend of Janelle's. Hi, Kitty. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Uh, where's Mona? Yes, we're in our contract. You ready? <laughs> Time to start packing. And earlier this week, I told um all the adults I needed to talk to them, and I was going to tell them that you know my house is on the market now, but it's actually under contract. And I will be moving next week. And it, it's going to be a hard conversation. It's hard to leave. This place is so beautiful. Your area is gorgeous. Yeah, this home is beautiful. Yeah, the yeah. area is gorgeous. But it's seen it versus family. Yeah. And I, the older I get, the more important family is. That's all it is. So, I mean, I want to move to Utah. 
McKelty has been looking for a place for Trulia and I to move to. So everything that I've been working towards is like happening now, like now, 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 now. Ooh. Yeah, I can't imagine how scary this is going to be because it's not just like leaving this part of your. This woman also has the essence of the woman that sold Lizzie's back to Mary. Remember? <gasps> That's yes, what, I thought that was owner. her actually at first. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Yeah, I like her vibe. She's like I a like her vibe funky too. mom. Mona is like a character that you'd like play for Halloween. Next next year, let's go with mm. Mona. Oh my God. Yes. The many realtors of Sister Wives. Yeah. I love that. What did I we decide that. earlier we were going to go as for Halloween next year? Was it just we where find, find is? Was it like we were both just going to show up in Isabel's ugly shirt? <laughs> is that what it was? I don't know. I don't know. This is a hilarious comment. Aunt Wick says, Amanda, Amanda, so glad it wasn't down there. Because <laughs> yeah. if you guys remember. Yeah, so you guys are so funny. A bunch of you are saying this. You <laughs> got to sell in the markets up here because then but it's going to go. What about what it's here, though? What if it's here. down here? You don't want to sell. You, no, mm -hmm. you, you no. buy down here and then it goes boop, 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 up here and then you sell right here. God, I can't wait to get to that episode. We need to have a fucking party when that episode happens. Oh, I will go to uh, Office Depot and I will get a whole. Like, get it? Yes. yes, I should go through my Please whole teaching do. things. I'm pretty yeah, sure I have a really whiteboard funny. or something somewhere. Too cut and dry. Like, there's just none. I, I mean, raising my kids with these people the rest of their lives, you know. And I'm super, super close to Janelle and her kids. So it's not, it's not a clean break. You can't have a clean break when you have kids anyway. I have kids. These kids have four moms. And then all the other kids have four moms too. It's just messy. It's just going to keep being messy for a while. So I guess the important thing is re remaining friends. But of course everything's different and it's scary. The un it's unknown. And so it's scary and exciting and intimidating and... So soon. This is a really good point. Um, Brooke says, I wonder why Janelle didn't list the house. That is weird, eh? Hmm. Oh, but is she, she, maybe she's not licensed in Flagstaff. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's she's in probably Arizona. In if Vegas. anyone's in the area. Yeah, I wonder if Vegas, if Nevada and Arizona. I mean, I could, do you guys want me to pull out the map and show you the difference? <laughs> no, between? I actually do know because I used to live in Phoenix. <laughs> Okay. Well, for those of you who don't know, see, Nevada's here. What's that? Arizona? Oh, I wouldn't have. Here. Yeah, that, that is Arizona. Yeah. And then Utah, still considered Southwest, which I'm pretty sure someone will move to Utah. Utah's here. Yeah, that's so, Southwest. Yeah. You know, over by Arches National Park. Zion National Park. Yeah. Yep. All right. I've been married for 20, gosh, what, 27 years? I mean, I was 21 when we got married. Wow. God. I'm 49. I'm starting over again. Sure, All I know is that I'm moving forward and I'm moving to something better. I do know I'm moving towards something better. And mm. that's enough most of the time. Thanks. So, thank you. It's been super awesome. I hope that. I hope that Mary, Robin, and Janelle can understand. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> what? I was reading. No, that's funny. I hope Robin, Mary, and Janelle can understand. Well, Janelle's going to understand, but Mary and Robin are yeah. not going to understand. Uh, also, but you think Mary would really understand? Yeah, Sharita, 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 that's what uh, got Jody the map. Yeah, MVP is the provider. Not only do I have the U U.S. map, and uh, <laughs> a world Ooh. map, maybe for oh, when come Christine, 90 Day Fiance or for 90 yeah, Day Fiance, when Christine that'll come in. does a, a traveling Christine a travel vlog. show. Um, Inga says, My top three Amanda and Jody quotes one, sell up there, two, tender age, three, family. 
Mm, and then she said, oh, yes. for the map. <laughs> All right. Yes. Too much. But maybe just listen. That I am leaving in a week and I just hope they don't hate me. I like that like, she has hopes, but I hope that she doesn't give a fuck if they do. No. I need to tell them that my house is now under contract. I'm angry with Christine leaving the family. Usually, our church would say you're divorced. You have to go ask for a divorce. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, you're leaving the family. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. Mary's hair looks insane in that clip. Yeah. Looks like she stuck her finger in a light socket, but there was too much hairspray to really go full Medusa. So it just was like, Purr. so as an expert of Mary's hair texture and uh, process, I think yeah. what she did was, I think what she does is a flat iron down. And then I think her new thing is like a, a really big Velcro roller. She ah. lets them sit, takes them out. And then she just like lets it sit there. But, she, but it's she, spray she, to the gods. <laughs> it, yeah, <there laughs> is. yeah, I wonder what spray she uses. It's something. Oh, people are gi people are giving their favorite quotes. Uh, Ma Amanda says, Mary, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 that's not what it was. Uh, wait, Loco Vision says, I don't like this, babe, and you're fine. <laughs> Let's check out our store down there. You got it. So yeah. some fine merchandise. That's and right. someone else said, yeah, Lindsay says, babe, just babe. Somebody, somebody in our someone in our reviews does not like babe. Oh, they don't they do Stop not like that babe. that it's reference from the funny. office. Yeah. Yoto. Just in Yoto. case you're wondering what that's from, guys. Yoto. Jersey Shore. Who wrote the note? Yoto. So now we always go YouTube. Get it? Uh, yeah, YouTube. Oh, the bananas uh, are great. Oh, there was another one that's oh, who wrote on our patron. Oh, Michael. I feel like we need to explain. Oh, that every yes, week. please explain this. Explain it. It's um if you look up when we go Michael, it's yeah. the most abstract, like random underground. Mm -hmm. People should write to AD Bryant and be like, it's check these girls. They, they have re they have re-energized this. Yeah. They're, on a weekend update on SNL, AD Bryant does this character named Carrie Crumb, who's this little girl who does travel as a travel expert. And that's it. Just look that up. She just gets you really excited. Laugh. She's like, Michael. Yeah, Michael. This thing, Michael. And it's just, it's <laughs> yeah. sweet and it's funny and it's just adorable. Yeah. <sighs> uh, here's one. She was leaving my ass. She That's another good one. My ass. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, I can All play right. Here, that from Cody, we're but gonna, yeah, let's let's we're get into this here. Now. I'm psyched. Oh my god, the music! I know it's intense. Cody, Mary, Janelle, and Robin are all coming over. I need to tell them that my house is now under contract. I've told Cody, so he knows already. Um, no one else knows. Oh, well, Robin knows if Cody knows. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not only oh, Cody's pulling in in his big truck. I, oh. Caleb's got a big truck, so I gotta have my big truck. My house yeah. is under contract. It's that I'm leaving. This is a pulling the rug out from under them kind of a thing. She's asked us all to come over. She has something she wants to say to us. And I have my suspicions. I I know that people have been coming through to see the house. I, I Why is Robin showing up separately? Like, just go with Cody and his truck. Like, you're not fooling anyone the, and no one cares. If one of the tender age children needs her and she needs uh. to go home, then she can leave early. I okay, promise good. you that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. All right. 4,000 street talkers. But I don't know. I'm really in my head. I'm stressed out. I don't know. I'm going to need her to do some landscaping. She's going to hit us right now. Hello. <laughs> Janelle just sat down God, like all of us. Always it took her that. 10 entire seconds. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna get comfortable here. This is gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> the, 
the relief when she and I'm I am not saying that as her being heavy at all. I'm saying this is exactly how I. She is bringing it. the mood. She knows yeah. this is it. Like, oh, did, did you yeah. hear how I was huffing and puffing after walking down a flight of stairs and then back up? <laughs> Just. Oh, God, this is her right. cleansing breath moment. Oh, but oh, she wore she yucky. wore a nice a nice a nice deep purple button up button for this. down a, a nice button, button down. down. She loves jeans, a button down jeans and then those sandals those like th th like isotoner a very kind of sensible sensible born leather born yeah. leather sandal. Robin well, these are has got Tory Burch. Robin's got Tory Burch sandals on, which infuriates me because those are what you guys who have them like a hundred and two hundred dollar flip that, flops yeah. basically and she's got some skinny jeans on cool. oh in her bottle of water because she's so thirsty she's so tiny she make it oh, hungry so i need to hydrate water. for my little kids and mary's mary's looking up in her jeans with the cuts in them they're it's one size too small I feel like there's gonna be a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of t-shirt pulling. During oh, this you're oh, you're I seated. know that move. Why well, know. That's where you yeah. you wish you had an outdoor pillow you could just like, put on Shit. your lap right. In front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christine should Christine should have provided a pillow for just Janelle and been like, all right, here you go with the rest of you. I mean, I if there's anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about with that couch cushion, that couch pillow that everyone I don't has think anyone's to have. Confused of what you mean. <laughs> We all fucking know. So um, um, and Mary's wearing a zebra LuLaRoe. Again, Mary's one sound size effect is small. like doo, 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 like that sound effect. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> the price is right. Yeah. Yes. For, For oh yeah, couch pillow is essential. Oh, essential. I mean, talk about the most essential of all workers is a couch, <laughs> couch pillow. pillow. A couch pillow on anyone who's above a size two. No, I think. Look, don't discriminate against the smalls either. I'm well, sure I they would I've love never a couch been a. Too. I've never been a small. <laughs> when I was but small, I would day, always want a couch pillow. <laughs> my goal is to is to not default to a couch cushion. I don't think it's ever going to happen in my life. A couch pillow. Anyway, okay, let's get to this because who? Okay, right, I just touch my arm, and I want. <sighs> Oh, Janelle's straightening out a little shirt here. A little straight no. Yeah, just, uh, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Don't wear a button up when you're going to be seated, Janelle. Come on. Oh, the gaping, the gaping. If you have yeah, any sort gapings. of boob. And it's going to be oh, open mean, towards Robin. Robin's going to be seeing how that good are you hour at, at doing like um, a safety pin. I, I, like, I already know without, what you're saying. Without it going through the top. <laughs> you go through the bat, you go under, you and go then through just, the back you layer. You find the top between the middle. And, and you got to get it right so at the right slowly. height so yeah. the head, so no one sees the metal. Yeah, ex the exactly. You got to get it in the middle please, of the two top layers. Please. You you're know. talking about the expert. Basically, being a woman is the fucking worst. Oh, the my God. It's constant on. tailoring 24-7. Oh, God. I still have a lot of emotions about this whole situation. Oh, you um, do. I feel angry and I feel a little betrayed. Mary has this bomber jacket in Whoa. how many? We've seen it in blue, we've seen it in green, and now we've seen it in this light, like yeah. Hunter. Every color. That had to have been like a, a very special edition LuLaRoe thing. Yeah. She, she actually has resting bitch. She's like, her job. God, and if what you're gonna see, this is not a spoiler, but because she's been doing it for three seasons, but the amount she's about to double down here on how much Christine is wrong, it's like, do you really think that Cody's gonna want you back? Like, you think that? You think that? And then she's well, sitting she's there with this busted ass face, and I don't mean busted because she's ugly. I mean busted because she's resting bitch face. And she's yeah. just so angry and she is clenched. Look at her chin dimple. It is oh it's yeah, right there. Mm. So she's clenching. Yeah. Wow. Oh. By the way, get ready for Cody's cool energy he's about to, to bring. Oh, he's easy breezy. Okay, let's yeah. see. He came Wait, in. He gets up back. Yeah, he sits there like with his two arms like this the whole time. And for most of this, he has his Bluetooth in. 
Ew. Does and he then have, later, like, a paper clip to his little belt line too. You don't see that, but but then he has his things on, his his glasses. But then at one point you see the things are out, and then he has them like tucked into his in a little carrying case. Oh, in a that's precious cool. Case. I'm so cool. cool. Right, oh, that's a little, just in case he gets a work call. Like I understand where she's yeah. coming from, and I also know that anger is a secondary emotion. I'm I'm hurt. You know, I'm hurt that she doesn't see value enough in our family. I'm angry about Christine leaving the family. I'm angry that she's moving to Utah. I'm angry that she's trying to sell the house. I'm angry that she moved my stuff out. I'm angry that she uh, has to leave. <laughs> I'm angry I'm she angry. moved my books. <laughs> Cody's books. Nerd. Cody's bathroom stuff. I mean, Nerd. oh, I just saw another one. <laughs> she's go. Cool. Cody's fucking looks. nerd. Cody's bathroom out. God. Paca Bell. Nerd. Paca Inga. Bell. Uh, do you see that he's wearing his little blue toothies? His little blue oh, blue. yeah. Which you're not supposed to wear when you're driving, by the way. Why are you wearing headphones? No, I thought you could. If it's a wire, if it's a hands-free call, I think. But not if you're like jamming out to Paca Bell. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I just need <laughs> to put different. in my charger. Oh, sure. Really quick, because we don't want to lose power. Charge your this. earbuds there. Yeah. Oh, Mary is just so pissed that Christine feels good. Is the, yeah, oh, she, that she's happy. Yep. And she's in control of the situation. That mm -hmm. worked. Didn't work. Yep, you're angry. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, I don't know what this conversation is going to be, but Mary's already saying the family. She's leaving the family. No, she's not. What family is there? It's Robin's family. Everyone else has moved. No one J else is there. Oh, shit, I can't use my mouse anymore. JP says, "Do you think Cody's angry?" <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what do you, do you think is what do you think his producer asked Cody? Why are you so angry? I'm sensing like something. What's going on, buddy? What's going are on, you bro? Happy or are you sad? You gonna miss her? Or are you angry? <sighs> they know if they need to get something from Cody, they just fist bump and call him bra. So, you guys yeah. All right, here we go. Tell by the okay. yard sign outside that I put the house on the market. And it is now in contract. Yay. I accept That's the offer. Good. It's, <laughs> it's I was a little offer. worried about because yeah. the market is it slows down in the fall. Oh, it's going what is down. Yay. I don't I don't get her thinking. Oh, so uh, wait, pause. No. Uh, uh, wait, <laughs> Mr. like up here or down here. Where, where we go one, where we go all uh she she very clearly explained, and Janelle's she, Janelle's smart. I'm going to say the thing about the market, Christine, so that it's all like business. I'll throw that in there. But he's mad because he, why is Christine saying yay? I thought she was on our team. And she's on Christine. Isn't isn't she? What did I say? I said Christine. Uh, Christine. Oh, he's mad. Didn't you want your sister wives to have this amazing relationship? You got it. It was achieved. She's happy for her fucking sister wife. By yeah. the way, it looks like everyone has found Mary's jacket yeah, on the, the chat. Stevie. The Stevie. The Stevie. Because it's like, it's like kind of uh, androgynous, but like sexy. And then the collar is kind of leathery. Oh. Uh, okay. Here, he's God, mad he's at Janelle. An and Janelle knows. Jan you know Janelle was like, I need to be there to be supportive of Christine. I'll sit Cody's next to you. Fucking blow a gasket, and I need to kind of. And Janelle is always been the best at mm -hmm. doing that fine line where she's don't, like, "Don't cry. Oh. Your voice is getting shaky. Don't cry. It's is it okay. again? That's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. Cody's not gonna come mm -hmm. after you. I'll be so your Janelle. Cody. Okay, I'm yeah. here for you. For a house in Utah immediately. Found a house. And. I am moving next week. <laughs> I don't know. It felt like uh, like I just got pushed out of an airplane. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so like, funny? Everyone, to push 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 her out. Like, everyone would love that. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so w. funny. Push you out without an air parachute. <laughs> so funny. This is the one time she smiled. This is the one time she smiled all episode, though. She's like, I feel like I got pushed out of an airplane. <laughs> and it goes right back to Beaker. I love it. It looked like she was powering down when she leaned forward. She's like, 
Because the 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 little laugh, she almost seemed surprised at the laugh, and then was like, "Oh, oh that was her rubbing that's it all like, for the day." What? I don't know anything. Cody didn't tell me anything about this for the. Oh, last you mean you mean when she? What? Yeah, I know. She leaned her, forward. She's the actress of the family, Jody. She's the Brown family scapegoater. Sandra right. Hill says, "Oh, I missed you, girls. Um, we'll rewatch." <sighs> Uh, you can, I mean, we still got a while to go here, Sandra, so jump in. <laughs> the water is great. Oh, Robin for sure is a narcissist. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I wasn't ready. Oh, you weren't. Well, they weren't ready for you and your annoying kids. We've been looking for about... Okay, now do you see here, as Christine is talking, Janelle, okay. her face is like... Stoic. And she was it's stoic and she wants to be smiling, but she, oh God, I feel like Janelle must face have of affirmation. Yeah, just like, but Thank also God. happy. Like, this is good. I'm happy for you. And then mm -hmm. Mary and Cody and Robin are like, Beat and Janelle them. is like, I am wearing an eggplant button up shirt in solidarity to your <laughs> Pita eggplant house. God. Oh, Janelle. Three days. It's just one of those things where I'm just like, I, there's nothing I can do here. You know, I'm not going to express my undying love for her. Please come back because I don't even like her right now. Okay. So shut up. Yeah. There's nothing I can so do. What's the yeah. Problem? We know that's been, that's been your problem. You can't do anything. Yeah, you said, you wrap said, your head I around don't it. like her. So she's like, okay, cool. So I'm going to leave. Cause you don't even like me. So what's. Well, yeah, he just, he's so upset to lose control. It's all about fucking control. Yes. Whatever she's going to say, he's going to say the opposite so he can blame the actual victim and he can play victim. Oh, and then Mary's pouting. She's like, mm. Mm. well, and she's facing Cody, Mary is. Mary's like, Cody, come. because Mary is performing. She's like, Cody, do you see how mad I am? Please love me. I wanted love the me. family. Yeah, I wanted the family. It's so See, sad. I'm sticking around. The Isn't she worse than me, Cody? Remember when you hated me? You hate her more, right? God. But, it's not, but he's still, but Mary's still so much grosser to him than Christine is. Oh, like, there's yeah. There's really nothing for me to say. What am I supposed to say? Congratulations, you're leaving the family? Yes. Uh, well, no, just, you don't have to say you're leaving the you family. You don't have to say but, that. Oh, congrats. Yeah, like, good for you. That I mean, do well. Like, yeah. Good That's luck. Great. You sold the house. Yeah. Yes. I hope you're happy. Oh, Mary God, looks Mary so sucks. Mary's hair in this talking head is so bad. It's <gasps> too short. She's just like, <gasps> my God, she looks like <gasps> my like fifth grade elementary school picture. Oh, when I went to, way too short. Congratulations. You're leaving the family. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. I don't feel jealous of christine that she's leaving and i can't oh. because i can i can do whatever i want oh protest too much yeah, I know. <laughs> protest it yeah exactly please please my strength is sticking around and seeing if cody would be willing to work Ooh. on a relationship my strength Wait, what? is sticking around and seeing what? if cody is a that's what a woman in every a Domestic abuse situation says, I'm strong for staying here. I'm strong for I, and I've been there out, and maybe he'll come back around to work on a relationship. He told you last year, and I'm not coming. She was leaving her, my ass. Her strength, Jody, is sticking around in a loveless marriage to see if the powerful patriarchal man will decide to throw her a bone every once in a while. Hmm. Now, who might be reinforcing that thought and that opinion? Huh. Could it be Robin, who said, just hang in there with me, okay? We need to rebuild. We need to rebuild. We need to rebuild. Just hang in there with me, okay? Stick it out with me. That's your strength. Mm, yeah, what's your superpower? <laughs> Just like sticking around. around in the background. God, but it's, it mean, is sad, trust though. Me, I was on a basketball team, sixth through eighth grade. <laughs> And it's not a superpower just to stick around in the background. I, yeah, when I was You're when never going to be MVP. I would just kind of wander wander around and hope that nobody threw me the ball. Like oh, ball no. Comes See, me. that in high school, during PE, <coughs> I found a friend who now her son is 
friends with Charlie and she still remembers this, I would be, I would say, I'm going to play the most aggressive defense on you and you play defense on me. So neither of us ever gets tossed the ball. Oh, that's good. Be like, yeah. I'm all over this one. I got this one. Oh, yeah, no, back up, thing. back up, back up. Back oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, D, D, D. Neither of us would ever get the ball. Yeah. So that's. Uh. But it that's is just strength it, is just it being is, in the background. Sure. Yeah, it's just it's so like it's so abuser ab abusey. Like the only thing that could change this dynamic is if Mary were actually close with the rest of the children. If she were like, I am sticking around for the family, Christine's leaving the family, I'm sticking around for the family, then she would have a relationship with any of the adult children. She only has a relationship with Leon. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So all, Christine's I mean, actually tell you? leaving Cody for the family. Oh, we're going to do the family. Don't worry. Cody's going to break down how that's not true. Don't Jody. Oh, let a man explain God. it to you. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm a woman. I, I know Cody <sighs> will tell you. And opinions to myself. Okay. So I leave that door open, but I'm not pining away for it. <laughs> okay. You were actually There's in the pine trees with him last thinking, anniversary. Like, when she first found out, she was really frustrated that we were moving, really upset we were moving, and then she was more upset about moving than about Listen to this. Listen to this. Christine and I being divorced. When Christine first told Truly we were getting divorced, Truly was very upset. Whatever happened, she felt different about it by the time I talked to her about it. <laughs> what did Christine do that made Truly go, oh, this divorce is okay? Uh, explain, she, explained um, her. Talk parented, to her. yeah, explained yeah. what the problem like was. She explained, You'll still be able to see your dad, he will be happier, I will be happier. You're going to see your siblings, it's going to be tough for a while, but I'll make sure it's my job as your parent to make sure you're okay. So she felt okay about it. So he he's, wants truly. He's to mad. Angry. Yes, exactly. He's mad that truly isn't more pissed. He said, Sorry, well, I, truly... I need to like, I, I need to see, sit myself down better so I can like jump up if I need to. No, yeah, he wants upset. truly to be in pain. He yeah. wants truly to be like, I miss dad. Climbing over him. Mm. I mean, his little <gasps> sweeties, his little sweeties would. They can't even go three days without seeing him in the oh God, Wait until Saul. I hope the show is on long enough to see Saul and Ari finally leave his ass. Oh, God. Can you imagine if they try to go to college? Oh, it's no, it's going to be rough. Um, yeah. Let's see. Mary probably only sticks around so she can stay on the show. Yeah. She needs Christine's to show for leaving. Her she, she doesn't. They would still follow Mary. Did she not see that? Would they, though? You're following well, I guess like, people who are in the Mary bubble would follow Mary, I guess. And I think TLC would still follow her. She's still a cast member. People would want to see her every so often. Not as much as Christine, I don't think. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, okay. Yeah, I'm, All right, I'm, let's see. Looking at the comments so he's here. like, what did that bitch Christine say to our kid to make her feel better and not be traumatized? Resting beaker face. Oh, this... Is this Julie? Did she change her name again? Why would he, as her parent, be upset that she is dealing with this in an okay way? Well, yeah, because he doesn't care. He want to want your kid to be upset. Mm -hmm. That's that's insane. And I don't like kids, but like that's so fucked up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. You want yeah. your kids to be reassured. If anything, Christine made your life easier yeah. by reassuring her she's going to be okay. And he's such, so you he's such say, a conspiracy you. theorist with this. What is Christine? What did Christine say to her? What did she mm -hmm. say to her? She parented her. You didn't talk to her. What did you do? You could have come yeah. over and hung out with her and explained this to her. He's so mad. No. Look at his yeah. face. Look at his face. <sighs> he's <sighs> crushed. <sighs> All right. Like, he does look like a caveman. I told uh, uh, actually, okay. I will say um, a lot of a lot of kids are happy with their parents. I was thrilled when my parents got a divorce because it needed yeah, to happen for like twenty years. A kid whose parents is doing a good job of take of taking care of things for them, yeah. saying you are going to be okay. Yeah, I am. And... This is right. I am going to be taking care of this. I'm sure Truly's not like high fiving everyone, but she's like, okay, 
my mom is taking care of this. Right. And Christina okay. has made it clear that nothing's going to really change either. Oh, my like this God. is going to pretty much be the exact same. Yep. All right. So going to get way up. worse from here, babe. Truly, we are oh, divorced. I called Cody immediately. I said, you might want to come over and talk to her. Truly actually talked mostly to Isabel and Aspen oh. about me getting divorced. Sweet. She really didn't talk to me that much about it for the rest of the day until Cody talked to her. I was sitting there talking with Truly, and she's like, well, you and mom are divorced. I'm like, okay. I didn't realize it was a little bit news to me. I'm sure that's how the conversation what? went. That Truly's like, you know, you and mom are divorced. He's like, okay. And then for him to be like, oh, okay, that's news to me. Oh, that's healthy. And when were Way you talking to Truly? truly. Yeah. So now Truly yeah. has to feel bad for you, daddy. You what a piece of shit. I don't, man. and I don't like the he's naming. He's a horrible of person. He, he likes to name names here. And okay. He's about to name another one. That we're just divorced. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We never oh, you're done. We an official agreement. We never signed a paper. We never agreed. We never went to our church leaders and said, You never signed a yeah, paper to get married. You never signed a paper to get married. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't need to do any of this. It's revisionist also, history. Cody's not in the church anymore. He said that he doesn't believe in this. So he, we're it's his own we are recapping season four, and he is doing his own church stuff at the time. Yeah. Remember? He's like, well, yeah. we're not really part of a church anymore. I just do my own thing. So what she's supposed to come to you to get you to sign saying, like, I, Cody, as leader of my church, release you. What He's the, the hell high priest. is he talking about? High priest of the family, told mm, you. Okay. 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 We're divorced. Or we want a divorce. You know, would they even allow us a divorce? All this. Well, the men. Well, the men allow us to would get divorced. they allow us? Um, they allow us. Okay. Yeah, they will because they have to because there's nothing legal here. And, yeah. Uh, she's leaving your ass. So bye-bye. Yeah. yeah. And you were never married. And it just sucked to me this shit. See, I've always thought of this as just... Yeah, she can't. It's a breakup. It's not even a divorce. Sorry. It's well, no, a it's breakup. It's not a legal divorce. It's a break. Or it's you not can't... a legal marriage, so you can't have a legal divorce. Yeah, like when you break up with somebody and they're like, okay, we're broken up. Bye bye. And then the right? other person's like, well, I, I haven't accepted it yet. It still means no, that you're broken accepted up. accepted it. Yeah. yeah. You're still. You're still broken up. Sorry. Just okay, like, wait, hold on. Jay Carey says, my kids were thrilled when I got my divorce. Yeah. yeah like, I think a lot of kids probably, I, don't, I think that's a norm. Normalize it. A lot of you, I know I had mentioned, I'm sorry, you guys are all, seriously, every single comment all of you have made, we're reading them and totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, it, it's not any difference to Truly. She's never had you around. It's so same. it's no change for her. Yeah. So when Chrissy was probably like, well, we were never really legally married, so we're not going to have to like do a whole court thing. You don't need to worry about that. She's about that. Truly was probably like, okay, uh, okay, cool. Also, didn't Cody almost kill her? Mm. Knife to the Pretty sure that's Christine's fault because Christine didn't pay for her own insurance for her kids. Right. You know, honestly, it's Truly's fault because fart Truly's fault because she should have waited until Christine got home to have kidney failure. Well, she should have told Cody, Dad, I'm daddy, I'm in kidney failure. Right. Just like Isabel could have just like waited longer to get the surgery. She should have done more exercises, Cody said. 80% is a fail. Yet yeah, truly should have known that there's other people in the family that this need him to burn you. steaks on the grill. Little Cody, busy. Cody rude. felt Truly's forehead and she doesn't have a fever and I know a fever. Direct well, quote. Amanda, he has to take a nap. He was tired. <laughs> he couldn't help it that Robin had to wake him up in Mary's <laughs> bed from a nap while his child was almost dying. Okay. Do you know what, like the sadness, the the sad, how sad it is that the rate at which we were just about to like blast out all of those references, quote like quote quote yeah. perfectly quote. I, I mean, it's on the tip of my tongue. Twenty three point yeah. five hours of yes. every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're yeah. divorced. Usually, our church would say you're Ooh. divorced. You have to go ask for a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get paper. Cody, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robin, yeah. she's smart. 
She says, usually you need to get paperwork. Like doing yeah. grunting. <laughs> you need to get paperwork, she says. No, you uh, don't. You have to get paperwork. You have to get... Oh, Amanda, I think you forgot. Um, Robin is actually an actual lawyer. An actual knows, lawyer. Yeah, she knows these things. Because she's... Has she been through a divorce? She's she has. Well, she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna let a bomb drop in a second about divorce and like when when Christine is technically going to be divorced. Oh, okay. She's That's got good. an idea on it. Uh, but she's Robin is so the expert. Smart. She's really usually smart, yeah. usually in our church we do the. She's not in the fucking church. And are, Robin, are you in the fucking church? When was the last time mm. you even talked about being like churchy? Well, no, at all. You forgot. She's in that one church where you can call up Jesus on the line and you no, get that his direct Christine extension. And you go, that. no, 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 Robin. Then she's like, hey, Jesus, oh. I, God, I want a rental. I don't want to buy. So if you could just send me a rental, that's like a million dollar mansion. That'd be great. Yeah, it has, it has to be a mansion, though. Five bedrooms for my tender age kids because yeah. nobody can so share So that's, me. she's in like the Jesus Realtor church. That's yeah, she Jesus Realty. Mm -hmm. We're like miracles right, just, happen. Just listen to this. To prove that okay. marriage is broken. Christine just saying I'm divorced is sort of invalidating our beliefs. We're spiritually married to Cody by our church. If we Well, they're spiritually married to Cody by your church. You got married to divorce him so that you could be legally married. So don't say we are spiritually married to Cody. Right. We are not anything. You are legally married. They are spiritually married. Now listen to the next thing she says. Oh, oh okay. Want a divorce, um, then we have to go get their approval. Usually they require counseling. Usually they require lots and lots of like meetings. You know, and technically, from my understanding, until Christine is physical with another man, she's not divorced. Beaker. Um, go full beaker right there. Okay, so Amanda M says, "Well, Christine should just go sleep with some rando to get oh, divorced." I guess. Get it Great. in. I didn't get realize it was that in. easy. Yeah, get it fucking in. Get it in. Like another favorite TikTok account, guys. Write this down. Simple treasures for you. She is getting it in left and right. Plenty of fish, bumble. She knows, and she's got a little uh, makeup haul. Little surprise. Little. Your simple treasures for you, Lady Fire three four three. Thank me. So later. here's where the here's um, where this all goes down the rabbit hole. At least it makes a good point. So she was cheating on David Preston until she. I was just going to say that. Exactly. Yeah. So you weren't divorced until Cody stuck his dick in. You know, mm -hmm. like a day after you met. Or maybe when they got tacos and hot chocolate. That would be fun. That'd be fun. On a on a hot Utah night. Carne asada. <laughs> And hot chocolate with marshmallows. Tell me oh, they fun. weren't <laughs> all the way home. Come on. Oh, yeah, but they like that. It's hot. Ew. It's gross. I mean, yeah. There's them out for the steak. The, the, the gall she has to say that. So she's saying even if Christine went to the church, got all the papers, got the blessing, still she so wouldn't like be divorced. Last step, you need to fuck someone. Okay. Yeah, so like go on what's your thing? Grinder, Tinder, the swipey thingies. What's my and like thing? bada boom, bada bam. Like she could leave this thing right now in Flagstaff. Yeah. yeah. Head up to it's Coyote possible. Pass for a quickie and like it's done. Right? Laura says sleep with a new man to be divorced. Said no church ever. I mean, Mr. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, come on, shut the fuck up. Uh Beth, thank you. Beth McCutcheon said mm, Christine's leaving my, my ass. ass. Yeah, uh, Olivia says it's baffling that Chris, that Robin, a divorced woman, has zero empathy for what Christine is going through. Well, yeah, hasn't that well, been the Robin's main was thing? the worst ever. Robin's marriage Abusive. that lasted what uh twenty five percent, thirty percent of the time that Christine was trying actively yeah. trying with Cody, and Robin actually really messed up her lie last week when she said to Mary. Well, actually, she's been talking about leaving Cody since Vegas. And Mary was like, oh, oh we're going to get really? into all this. We're getting into it. Oh, OK. Yeah, Tinder divorce. Exactly. Oh, the hot chocolate and Cody asking a Mexican restaurant if they had marshmallows. 
Yeah, they just keep those in they stock in the like, back. They probably oh. just took like hot chocolate mix and like took like the little tiny marshmallows out of there and just oh like no they didn't do marshmallows remember they did whipped cream and they're like <gasps> Ooh, whipped cream would be fun that would be really funny yeah, yeah nice. exactly oh catholic church be lit just have rando sex mm -hmm. okay um let's okay. oh okay and uh, just keep your eye on how oh first of all keep your eye on christine's neck because right about now it's about to go full red because oh. she is furious christine well no it's not totally red like that unless we have areola there to come and point at her and go your and neck is all down red. her shirt <laughs> you're all red uh, but like, as <laughs> yeah as robin's talking and just the the poise that christine is just like she's not letting herself cry as as robin is yelling at her christine's just like okay all right i mean i'm sure her adrenaline that's the thing that I think about with this is just how much my adrenaline would be pounding. Like, I don't know what I would have to do after this, but like, there's a couple times here where I wouldn't be able to stop myself from like standing up yes. and being like, what is your fucking problem? But you yeah. don't even know what's about to happen. So let's just get into it. Oh shit. Okay. But I don't, I mean, I don't know. I know Holy you don't know as anything. As far as I know, it's just that your divorce has to be recognized. But Christine has left the faith. So okay. uh, she says it'll be between her and God. And I'm like, okay, because the rules don't apply to her anymore if she's not in the faith. I was 19 when my mom left my dad and left the plural family. She um, got a legal divorce because she was legally married to my dad. Kind of like and Robin. She just left her church. So I, since I don't have any legal contract that binds me with Cody, there was no legal process that we've had to go through. Neither of us are part of that religion anymore. So oh. me just saying I'm divorced, I don't see the problem in that at all. Right, because it's not a divorce, it's a breakup. And you decided to break up and Cody's going to have to deal with it. So like everyone, other church, adults. So what church is Robin talking about that they need to go to if they're not in it? They're just supposed to go back to a church that no one belongs to? The Church of Robin and Cody. Uh, church okay. of Beaker. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Father, Son, Holy Beaker. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> meep, 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 <laughs> meep. Meep, 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 So this is a little different, I guess, because it's different. You don't consider yourself to be a part of that church anymore. No, okay, I do not. Did you hear Cody kind of chime in behind there? He's like, yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Because they definitely rehearsed this before they came today in separate cars. Oh, my God, of course. Robin's like, I'm going to act like I'm really surprised, Cody. I, I mean, I just don't forward. I don't know. I don't know. But I do have a lot to say about this. Oh, Mona Reiki in the chat. Amazing. Ah, oh, Mona Reiki! <laughs> <laughs> you did a bang-up so job, good. Mona. <laughs> so good. Um, J Robin is about to unleash 12 years of stuff that she's held in. Just about, like, one or two comments that Christine made once. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize if I scream. Okay. Yeah, no, you will. Well, the closure that she's saying that she gets is that she just decides, and he just kind of goes along with it. Oh yeah, Cody's just poor Cody. He just has to go along with it. Um, so kind of like you've gone along with the closure that Cody's had, and yeah. you just have to go along with it. So like you're not projecting at all here, Mary. What? Is this lighting better? Just got. In the course of these three hours, the light, my lighting has just gone like, <laughs> which is fine with me. All right, get ready for this, Jody. Nancy says, "All right, here oh, we go." Oh God! Okay. So, Hello, I, I don't know. Like Cody, Mary is so cowardly lion. Yeah, she's she so cute, there. Mary. Yeah, she does. I want to work on the relationship, but Cody has basically said that he doesn't. Does that mean we're just not married anymore? So yeah. she's basically Cody. Yeah, and Cody is Christine. Right. Does he not see that? that Neither like, of them done. see that. He said, I and I'm not coming. 
I'm leaving your oh. ass. All right. Oh my okay, god. Mary, Mary, just shut up. We need oh Robin to start talking. I feel like we're still married. Because you're an idiot. You're not married. He, but except he hasn't said divorced yet. He just says, I feel like we're not, I'm not married to Mary. Well, right, because that's the only difference. He wants her to be the one to leave because then he could be the poor widow victim. Well, then you can't get his kingdom of heaven. <laughs> I don't really consider myself married to Mary. I just, if she wanted to, if she wanted to move on and marry another, she wouldn't get an argument with me. I have Don't never seen him can ever be functional. What? I've never seen him more exhausted and just like, I don't give a yeah. fuck if he gets I, they, married. His eyes are like, oh God. How would you, he God, to hear, care. to hear someone say, if she went and found someone else, I would, I'd be fine with it. He told on, her, Mary. stay at the B&B. &B. Don't come back. After your you mom just died. Like how much, what other worse things can he do? All of us saw their anniversary last year. Yeah. When she said, don't you understand when you touch my hand? And what I'm it does to me. Do and he goes, and I'm he, not coming. Like, I, yeah, you have to court me and I don't even want you to do that. I saw um, a TikTok oh video God. about, shockingly, I've shown up on narcissism, dating a narcissist TikTok. Oh. Suddenly that's in my algorithm. But um, this woman was, this doctor was saying, you know, here's the thing, like most women want to wait for, they see a bunch of red flags and they stay. The reason that they stay is that they're waiting for like the final definitive, this is the bottom line. And she's okay. like, no, the red flags is the bottom line, which is true. It's true. I mean, in my experience, that has always been true. I have never had an experience where I've seen a red flag and then it's like, oh, that turned out to be nothing. It's always mm. been a real red flag. That's a good point. That's really good. And I don't believe that I will ever be emotionally safe with her. Mm. The difference between me and Christine and me and Mary is that Mary and I have been unraveling our relationship for years. Christine found out that she would never be happy married to me, but her leaving was so sudden. It, look, roll the tapes. Roll the tapes of yeah, no, season wasn't. one, where she said that their marriage was falling apart. Season, season two, one, where they again, have a conversation. Season one, episode one. You episode and I one. Re are recapping this. Um, oh hang on. My uh, God. TT Doll. Says, hi, I'm late, but had to take Aww. care of some stuff. I'm finally well, in from you Norway. Take care of a lot more stuff because we're probably going to be here for another hour. <laughs> It'll be, yeah, you can probably clean your whole house. Um, 11.40 p.m. God, that's a big time oh difference. Oh, my gosh. Wow, thanks for staying up with us. It's only 3.42 here. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, where? Okay, so what were uh, the red flag? Now? Yeah, red flags don't lie. And that the fact that he's okay. shocked. Oh, Christine, it was just like overnight is. she's leaving. I she think in... Every season, her and Cody have to have a sit down. She does it in season two during Christmas, where they have to go, and she's like, every "It's season. okay." Every single season, she takes she takes their therapist with them on their anniversary. Every single season, uh -huh. she talks with Mary while Mary has that that knee brace on, and she's pretending to actually be hurt. Um, and she and, took a sled into the side of their little yeah. house, and Cody's like, "Bend your knee, bend, <laughs> lift the leg." Christine's in the kitchen. You just hear. A, Thunk, and she's like, was that just Mary? <laughs> oh, I was talking about the skiing incident. Oh, yeah, the skiing, too. Yeah. You're talking about the where they hotbox the house with that yeah. cold where everyone's like... <laughs> <coughs> and the whole house, there's just steam on the window. There's a brown family strain of bronchitis going through the family. Oh, mm -hmm. Again, it, it was COVID patient zero. Uh-huh. It was Co Cody COVID, yeah. Cody um, COVID. COVID. No, we have seen, this is what, episode 9, 10 of this season? Nine. And since episode 1, they have been sitting down having a conversation about how she's leaving and they're divorcing. Right. Why is he saying now all of a sudden? But it's also not, that's not even sudden. She has really has been, like, saying, we need to work on this. We right. need to work on this. Since season 1, episode 1. Everyone remember that's. It's oh, pretty much been their storyline. Cody feels like he's being kicked to the curb. You know when Christine might have felt like she was being kicked to the curb? When she was crowning with Truly and you were making out with Robin, who was like, yeah. you want granola bars, Cody? You want some granola bars? You go for granola bars, Cody? Granola bars. And he barely made it there in time. And then wasn't it just like 
a week or two after he left for 11 days. Yeah, when that was Truman funny. was a newborn, so they could go on that mandatory honeymoon. They had to have 11 days together. God, you didn't want 11 days with their significant other in San but Diego. Remember, again, Robin's kids can't go three days without seeing Cody, but the rest of his 16 kids at home can go 11 days without seeing their dad. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, cool. TT Doll, thank you. I've seen it since the Rock Tower. Thank you for this. Oh, you guys are great. You guys are so great, sweet. great, great. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys get that reference, but you must if you're watching us. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you want some celery? Yeah, so I, great. It wasn't unraveled for me. It, it was like I was being kicked to the curb. Oh. And, and that was the difference. It's like, wait a second, you can't do this to me. <sighs> I guess in some ways I'm just sorry we dragged it out so long. I'm not yeah. Really. <laughs> I feel like everything that you guys did proved whatever, that you really did put everything into it that you could. Thank and you, Janelle. I think it was really important because the biggest thing that we have all mm -hmm. produced is this cohesive group of kids. They're not cohesive. Okay. What? So Janelle, so you know, wait, that this this next part's about to piss you off, and I did some math on it. So he just said, I wish I hadn't dragged out. And then Janelle's finally like, okay, I need to say something before Robin yeah. jumps in again. Janelle's like, all right, no. I, and the thing she said is so perfect. She says, I can see that you guys did try Robin and uh -huh. that you have this is you you're making a good decision for yourselves robin uh -huh. and now he's and we have a, this great group of kids like do you see we did something good this you is have great. succeeded because the kids are all so close to each other look oh no with... no 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 jody oh. uh -oh. no jody no i'm rewinding no, 10 producing. seconds just so we get all of this okay? yeah please so do. We're, at okay. we're at 30 really 48 put everything into it that you could and i think it was really important because the biggest thing that we have all produced is this cohesive group of kids they're not cohesive Oh, Robin's Mariah great. is not fitting in well with the family. Peyton is not fitting in well with the family. Dayton, Aurora, Brianna, they don't fit in well with the rest of the family. Three of Janelle's kids are close to three of Christine's. And that's really it. Let's do the math on this now. So, Leon, I don't think that's true that they don't get along with everyone. They're just they're Leon doing their own and thing. Peyton butt heads because. Peyton, I think that by his own doing, he, he has outlier. really bad politics. He's a Cody. He's kind of like he's a Cody. A Cody. He yeah. loves being on TikTok. He wants to be the center of attention. He probably he has, has very strong opinions. Tendencies. He's yeah. very loud, boisterous. It's too much. Yes. So let's take Dayton or Payton out. Payton. Payton's out of Payton. there. Right. But like, okay. So, and also let's take Dayroy Brianna out of there. And let's take all of Robin's yeah. kids out of there. What's the common denominator in those three kids? Why they're oh, not fitting weird in that with they the family. They don't fit in. Hmm. Also, do you remember last week when they all showed up at Isabel's? party and they were all like so fucking excited to see her uh -huh. in fact they sung the rest is still on <laughs> right uh, so uh, and then so but then when three, cody though. and robin came around they were like Whoo, on that side right they had but a, let's talk to let's talk about um the three and three here because okay. we actually have if you take Peyton out of it yep. we got we got some truly we got yep. some Gwendolyn action. We got some Isabel action. We got some Aspen action. We got some Maddie action. We got some McKelty. Hunter, Hunter. McKelty, Garrison, Gabe. I feel like there's another one in there too. Oh, Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> Savannah. Savannah. So there's, there's Savannah. 10. It's five ten. and five. More than yeah. half the family. I think that's pretty good odds. And I think that Robin's kids would like to be friends with all of them. Sure. That's but they've kept them in seclusion, like yeah. uh, flowers in the attic style. So Seriously. take those kids out of the equation. Jesus. Um, oh, Logan. Oh, Logan. Oh, Logan. He just doesn't appear on the show, but there's no way that he's not. He raised the, he's their dad. He is their dad. Daddy dearest. So yes. that's 11. And all their spouses. Absolutely. Mitch and. Uh, Tarna. Tarna. Can you say and, the stick thing? Uh, what? Stick. Everyone stop back. You might get hit by stick. Mmm, tres leches cake, my favorite. Remember when he did um like a tableside guacamole with his hands? Oh, 
No, I remember when he and they were all like, "We love Cody." Or I'm sorry, we love Tony. We love Tony so much. Oh, we yeah, love him. Like, I just see how in love they are. I mean, whatever. I know He's they're still two better. weirdos. Whatever. Yeah, I think yeah. Leon. Well, listen, Peyton had some issues with Gwen. Do we even say Gwen? It had some issues with no, Gwendolyn I said Gwen. and well, Leon. Gwen, but I, I wonder if that's also because Gwendolyn is by. It is because Peyton is a listen again. Peyton Good. and Cody like two peas in a pod over there. Um, oh my God, I love this. I don't even know how to make that little turn. A that little turn. I didn't know is that an umlaut or whatever. Umlaut, yeah. I love that. Turn. Okay, yeah. So he's whatever. He's full of it. He wouldn't even know, as if he would even know what the relationships between the kids are like. Please. Okay, Michelle says Robin othered her own children. Absolutely. Yeah, Mar Maroon says, I bet he not even including Logan because Logan doesn't talk to him. He's not including, he's only including the kids that talk to Cody still. Yes. Because the other kids don't exist anymore. They're He's shunned. forgotten about them. Logan is competition for Cody. And we're in season four and we're seeing that now. Like when Savannah asked Logan to go to the daddy daughter dance and Cody was like, <laughs> elbowing no, Gwendolyn did oh okay Gwendolyn was elbowing Logan out of the daddy daughter pictures oh god I think there's a lot of potential that they will be through their whole lives He's really awesome. I think those years were valuable to have those kids be home and have a nuclear family so yep. Cody is a little bit myopic he sees everything from this perspective of Robin and her kids and they have this really weird perception that her kids have been <gasps> so slighted you know I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I see the kids interact at holidays. Everything seems fine. So I'm not quite sure why they perceive that there's this shunning or something. It's really weird. You, oh, my God. I love this so much. Cody's going to want said, to, like, beat her after this. Like, you know he wants to punch her in the face. He's going to shun her, for sure, oh. if she hasn't already left. If she and she's going to be him. like, yeah, fine. Can you just clean my shitter and get out of here? I don't care. Exactly. Empty the shitter and then bye-bye, get out of here. She or, I'm driving that, said, or I'm driving that shitter onto Robin's property. And I'm, <laughs> or I'm draining it in the pond. Uh-huh. Oh, over on Robin's land. Go yeah. empty the shitter over on Robin's lot. Janelle has just said what all of us have been saying since we've watched this. Her kids seem fine when she is not hovering over them, when she is not munch housing all over yep. their asses. They're fine. <sighs> You're grown. fine. Except and now Aurora's a total bitch. Uh, yeah, I said it. Aurora in there. Oh, and these beds for the doggos. Mm. Is that yeah, that was really kind is of that where you're just gonna like rinse your feet? She's old enough to know. And yeah, Robin ruined her, but she's also old enough to get her own mind. But yes, yeah, yeah. she ruined her kids. You know, everyone Sarah oh. Snyder's Aspen and McKelsey are close to Logan. They both went to the Bachelorette weekend. Yeah, of course they're all close to Logan, but Cody Logan's not if on the Cody show, doesn't, so he doesn't see exist. it with his own eyes, it's not happening. It doesn't exist yeah. unless he sees it and he sanctions it. Okay, so let's see what Robin's gonna say now. Robin, me, and my children are all <gasps> connecting constantly. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an energy of connection perpetually. With Janelle and Christine, I'm only getting feedback from them about what's going on with the kids. Okay, pause. Uh, uh, you know what the difference is there? Because you're, you're living with those yeah. kids. You you're are present not living with your other two wives. So that's why you are <laughs> perpetually... <laughs> going around with your kids you fucking idiot god such a piece of shit and he just said robin me my children janelle's children christine's children yeah god how the fuck does he not see this you were not connecting with them because you can't even see them you don't talk to them of course you're not connecting what are we gonna do mentally if there isn't a tell <sighs> oh i'm I'm going to go Cody. I'm going to go full fucking Cody. Yeah. Our, our, our new TikTok at love to hate pod is going to be a fire. Against I'm gonna, I'll go full. I'll do my curly girl method. And I looked like Cody. I've done it once. It's, it's going to get lit. I'm calling on Where Suki. I'm calling on Robin. I'm calling on all of them. Where we go what? one, we go all, we all get our, our uh, flaming, little torches and we go in 
uh, on the beast castle like Gaston and the townspeople we make it happen <sighs> themselves are not bringing this to me yeah, it's much blood more pressure is going up than just to say Cody favors Robin that's not even a cool statement it's not that's cool. not even a cool, cool statement cool, guys it's not cool. that's not even it's a cool, cool statement Okay, hold on. I'm writing this down. That's got to go After on his shirt. After 17 seasons of all <laughs> this drama, it ends that's with not that's even not even a, a cool, cool statement. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm making it. That's <laughs> not even a cool God. statement. Jody, every week I wonder if we're going to make it to three hours, and we're at 3.08. No. Right? We're at 3.09. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, that's why, okay. the, that's why my lighting is like... <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Right that was here. amazing. Oh it's no, this a no. cool statement, you guys. Yeah. It's that she <laughs> communicates and her children communicate. They involve me. Because you are involved. It's, and it's not about them involving you because you're the fucking parent. Yeah. yeah. Even if they are involving you, it's not their job to involve you. It is your job to be involved and <coughs> to involve your children into each other. That's what a parent does. You make Robin's kids go and interact with your other kids. You facilitate that. You make it happen. God, you idiot. When you first told us that, I'm thinking, what about the kids? But I have hope that in time, like, we'll all eventually learn how to cohesively co-parent, like, be together, possibly. Oh, Robin's pouting. I don't know. Oh, she's sad. Jimmy and I actually had a really good chance to summer to love on Avalon a little bit. And I'm like, okay, I can, I can see this. I can see this. Yeah, I... That was a nice little moment that Janelle and Christine were just... The rest of them weren't even there in that moment. She's like, I got to love on Avalon a little bit. And Janelle's and Christine's like, that's so great. I love that. Janelle and, you know, was putting it out there. Like, yeah, I made the effort to go see our grandchild that we've yeah. all said. The family is so important to you, Mary and Robin and Cody and the grandchildren and all the family. Have any of you made the effort to go see Avalon? Or is it that they have to come to you? And you know, Cody is steaming during this little back and forth between the two wives because he's like, Are they friends or something? Oh, they, like, yeah. Love each other? I don't, this isn't how I plan this. Honestly, do you think Mary has ever even met Avalon? She wasn't there when she was born, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Oh, wait, which one is Avalon? McKelty. McKelty. Okay. Oh, Janelle got to love on Avalon. I was thinking Evie because remember that confronting oh. Mary episode? Oh, right. Well, listen, I think McKelty <coughs> saw Robin and Cody because we've seen that uh, McKelty did come and visit them. I know a long time ago, but I don't, I haven't seen any Mary with Avalon. So if Mary is so, you know, into the family and the kids and Christine is leaving the family, well, then where are you? Are you doing anything? They all Sarah want to be Snyder, victims, the three of them. She says they were all seen with Suki. Please tell us more of that. Is there, a, is the, does that mean that there's definitely a tell all? <gasps> tell us more. Oh, here at the Little America in Flagstaff, Suki and Cody <gasps> were spotted. There's going to be a tell all. Oh, be all. thank God. <gasps> thank God. Thank you. Oh, my God. A ramen man saying, okay, I'm going to figure something out. Maybe just like a package of ramen, like just a block of ramen noodles. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to work out It's not even a week. cool statement, yo, bro. Oh, here. Cody and Robin went to McKelty to see Avalon in May of 2021. Oh, wait, you guys, weren't they also seen in a Costco near McKelty getting an American Girl doll, probably for little Avalon or yeah. little Sweeties? Oh, little Areola. Sweetie. Yeah. Oof. They got, okay. they got Avalon a Barbie or like an off-brand Barbie skipper. Right. Oh no, it's probably little Sweeties leftovers. Babies still, regardless if they're my biological grandkids. Mm -hmm. To me, they're still my grandbabies. Um, this person who is just uh, tar Targad says, yeah. "Who is Suki? Suki is Sukanya, who is the last year's tell-all host." Right. Cody calls, "Listen, Suki," even though her name is Sukanya, and she's right. the host. So, so if she does. 
if they were seen together, then they definitely are doing a reunion because there's no way mm -hmm. Suki's hanging out with. She's Cody. probably buttering yeah. up Cody. Yeah, she's like tell me rolling more out about with what Cody. Yeah. Is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. I really don't know what life is gonna bring because we're not functioning as a family anymore. We haven't for a really, really long time. Well, you're never around, so part of that's your fault. Cody and Christine's relationship mm -hmm. has been an issue. Like, there's a lot of fractures, and if people, you know, aren't gonna work on it, then like this is this is the way of our family. Well, blame Cody because he's not working on your relationship. It's we all Christine's fault. Twelve years, public, <coughs> trying to convince the world that we have something legitimate. It feels you like have it delegitimizes everything I've worked for. I've worked for. Another wives haven't been working. It, it legitimizes this fake persona that I was trying to convince yes. everyone of. That's what he just said. Okay. I would actually love to know what Mormons think, or like what other polygamists actually think of what mm. they've done or if they think of this as like being really bad for the religion like they've done worse here's walter wally hey, hello stinky i love you all right you stay all right here we go last kind of last segment they second to last. Their conscience. Mm. stay married to someone who had favorites and made it very known god <gasps> christine queen Terry, Terry Clark. I, I cannot figure out why I'm so angry. Yeah, none of us can. <laughs> You've been in this place for, for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. I'm just gradually getting clued in. I actually had to find out from Madison that you had been saying that you were thinking about leaving. What? Madison's my daughter with Janelle. And, you know, because I heard this rumor mill going on, I asked her, I questioned I'm so sick of this rumor mill shit. <sighs> like, the it's your kids. Your kids that are all talking to each other because oh, see, they have good relationships. They're not supposed to talk to each other about anything going on in the family. No, if there's a group chat, Cody needs to be on that group chat. Yeah, no. they don't, Well, they don't talk. This is a fair. If Cody doesn't see a group chat, it doesn't exist. You see? No, nobody talks to them unless he gives them permission to. No rumor mill. Yeah, throwing Maddie under the bus for sure. Mashin. And also, um, Robin, who you are so close to that you have a, what did he say? Perpetual <laughs> uh, She said in the last episode, she knew that Christine had been talking about leaving since Vegas. So... Yeah, she knew me, that. You would have known before, my Ames. Thank you. Ten dollars oh. for Walter's bow tie fun. He's got stressed He's up. He's gonna be a handsome he baby. He's a good boy. Oh. Thank you. Oh, but Cody's just learning this. Wow, it's so tough for him. And he totally mm. is throwing Madison Madison under the bus. You don't don't name names, you fucking jack. Yeah, you had to find out for Madison because he doesn't have 12 years worth of tape. Exactly. Yeah. Because there's not 17.5 seasons of footage of you being a complete asshole. And do you think he was even talking on the phone with Madison or if it was like a text? Oh, he... Um, I bet you there was like a photo that Mashen sent of Evie and Axel. Yeah. And he's like, did you hear that Christine is leaving me? Yeah. Did you hear she's been leaving my ass? <laughs> she's she's like, probably yeah. like, yeah, we've all been talking know, about this since Dad. I was 12. Right. And she told me, yeah, Christine's been talking about leaving for a long time. Yeah, where you been? What you need to know is when you hear things through the grapevine, there's a whole other conversation that you don't get. When you hear things through the grapevine, you should maybe address the source. Because <gasps> they asked me, why are you staying? Why don't you just leave? They asked me. Huh? Christine has been talking about leaving me for longer than I have known, much longer. Again, season one, episode one. Yeah. Footage. Yeah. COVID may have changed things, about this forever. but I was always here. I was always involved. Why would my children be trying to talk her into leaving me 
unless she was telling them. Because they have eyes and ears. Exactly. Because just like he was saying, <laughs> Robin's kids and him all particularly talk together. That's what was happening in other houses as well. Christine's kids were talking with Christine and seeing things about their dad. And Janelle's yep. kids were with Christine because Christine was great, great with Janelle's kids. So they were all talking. So yeah, they're going to hear about it and talk. That's what families do, Cody. That she was in a loveless marriage. That is I, I, to you, why are it you doesn't just, matter. Uh, it does ma yeah. matter. Okay, well, I don't want to throw them under the bus. But they asked no, me, why stay? We're talking why about stay? The, the... Cody, I don't know if it matters. Cody, hey, your kids. Here's, here's the, the, several I, of your kids. Is that what you want to hear? Several uh -huh. of your kids. Why are they asking? Why were they asking that? They asked. They saw how things were in our family. They saw how separate we've been in Flagstaff. But so. that's, that's the family group. That's the culture, not the individual relationships. What does she mean by that? I've watched that clip like three times, and I don't understand yeah, wait, what she hold means on. by that. Hold on. Let's go back. Let me Play that again, if you would. They saw how separate we've been in Flagstaff. They asked no, me, why stay? We're why talking stay? about the... the... Cody, I don't know if it matters. Cody, Cody your kids. Here's, here's the thing. Several of your kids. Is that what you want to hear? Several of your kids. Like, why are they asking? Why were they asking that? They asked. They saw how things were in our family. They saw how separate we've been in Flagstaff. But that's, that's the family group. That's the culture, not the individual relationships. Does that make sense? What? Does anybody understand what that means? So I think what Robin's trying to say is like, okay, but they were talking about the entire family, not, <laughs> not just they wouldn't have known about just you and Cody. They could have been talking about everyone, but just you and Cody. How would they know that? Again, because kids have eyes and ears. They're not dumb. But you know what? Robin does think her kids are just like, <laughs> she doesn't yeah. think her kids are hip or wise to anything. Either. She doesn't want them to be smart, though. No. Patrice, yeah. You need to figure out so what she you're just doing assumes. <clears throat> they also saw that Cody and I were yeah, struggling for a long exactly. time. Exactly. The kids were like, it looked like in Vegas that you and dad weren't really close anymore. And in Vegas? Uh huh. Okay. That's and not I'm my. Like... <gasps> okay. um... How bitch? That's a lie. Okay. She that's she's a coming lie. out. Uh, Robin's okay. coming out. But Joe Wilson during Obama's State of the Union address, you lie. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you to say that's okay, a lie? That's a lie. And then none Christine, of the kids know anything. None of them are, communicate with you, Robin. None but Christine's of them reaction you, so is just know? Christine just goes, "Okay, well." The kids said that. That's a lie. How would you know what Christine's kids have said to her? None of them are close with Robin. What the hell? That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Can you go back? Go back again. Yeah, I want to hear that again. Whoa. Yeah, of course. Individual relationships. That's a lie. Cody and I have been struggling for a long, for a long time. The kids were like, "It looked like in Vegas that you and Dad weren't really close anymore." And in Vegas? Uh huh. Okay. That's a lie. I She's stunned. She doesn't even know what to say. I remember what was going on. I remember Janelle and Cody making their relationship better than it ever had been. I and then I saw him with them. With you. I remember you guys having fun dates and hearing about that and seeing you guys' relationship. So okay, either pause. you guys are faking it in front of me. Yeah, no, this is a lot to um, unpack. Just because you're seeing someone go out on dates doesn't mean their relationship is lit. <sighs> Yeah, they went out on dates, Amanda. I, I mean, guys, every married couple. Okay, listen, girls, sixty nine, get the hell out of here. This is yeah, fuck off. Season. We don't need. We need. Um, we we don't need any odd girls. So going by Robin's fucking stupid ass logic, any couple who goes on a date, things are going amazing. Yeah, couples you never pretend to be happier than they actually are, or they don't you, put on a happy face. You guys went out to dinner. You got fun day together. It was fun. Yeah. Piling those rocks on top of each other with your marriage counselor was fun. 
fun like your hot chocolate date, right, Robin? Also, what the hell, you can be in a bad marriage and still have fun every so often. On which a is date. why people you like, yeah, you're on a date. Yeah, that fun that date. Two point five hours a week out yeah. of the year a month let's yeah like come on right they're going out once a month and also but like what is cody and janelle's relationship that they were working on things what does it have to do with christine oh she's dragging janelle because now robin is off to the race her and cody have built the, you can tell here because now he's letting her talk and he's just kind of chiming in with like yeah 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 so she has she's like Cody, this is my time to shine. I'm going to go there and finally unloose mm. the 12 years of agony and bullying that I have put uh, up with. Yes. So that's what's about to happen here. But so, but she's so now Robin's just about to just it's just gonna be just it doesn't have anything to really do with the divorce. It's just gonna be all her being like, all of you said that Cody's that I'm Cody's favorite and it wasn't fair to me. So now that's why yep. she's bring, dragging in Janelle. And Janelle's like, and she's taking it personally because Personal. she said since Vegas, which was right after they got married, we're watching that season. Yep. Yeah. So now it's oh, you're saying it's because of me. Mm. And this is so true. She's not even responding to what Christine is actually saying. She's been doing, listen, what we all do. Or we've been like running this shit through our head yeah. all day. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, going to come have, out no exactly matter what, what they say. say. Whoa. I remember hearing about them and seeing your guy's relationship. That doesn't mean anything. What does Robin have you? x-ray vision to know what goes on behind closed doors? She's she's trying to gas. This is the definition of gaslighting again. No, yeah. it was good, Christine. I, I saw, saw your relationship. It was amazing. You did not feel that way. That's a lie. That's a, That's lie, a lie that you were not happy. This is oh, where really? I like. Okay. If you were Christine, like, wouldn't you at least stand up here, or like yell or raise your voice? Honestly, she is the like, reason okay, they broke okay, up. Okay, Robin, you tell me how I feel. Okay, so you're divorced. Right. I would have gone off. I would. But her ther but her this. therapist said. Don't feed into it. Let them let them make burn their own themselves. bridges. Let yep. them, yep. Just let them show everything. Don't give them the fuel for their fire. Yep. And can I just say something really quickly, even though we're three hours and 25 minutes in? For anyone new who's watching, I have Tourette's and that's why my eyes keep doing this. Uh I'm not, I just I, I feel like I need to just say that. Because my oh, eyes flutter a lot. I, I never notice it. But, it's okay. kind it's kind of when we're we're doing the clips, I'll like do this a lot. So that's why it's Tourette's. It's fine. Oh. I'm fine with it. You can make fun of me. It's fine. It's hilarious. But I'm not. This uh, is a really I'm good not, point. I just want to say comparing relationships is like poison to a plural marriage. Yeah, they've all said that. Oh, you never do that. Mm -mm. No, you never compare. Robin is a beaker of all trades, a lawyer, x-ray vision. Yeah. She knows everything, Jody. A priestess. She's an expert right. of their Bible to which church they don't belong. Jody, she's about to get so much bitchier to Christine, though. This is nothing. This is Stop. this is friendly. No, like oh it gets worse. Oh God. Okay. And then you can Janelle's here, just like Janelle's here, like, holy shit. Okay. All right. So oh my God. I want to be there for that glass of, well, not Riesling, but you know, that's what they're drinking. Uh, I want to be there with Janelle and Christine after this. That fucking yep. bitch. Yep. <sighs> okay. Okay. I don't know. You know. Also, do you notice how J Robin made it about her? She's like, were you guys just all lying to me? This has nothing to do with you. No one's lying to you. We're all in our own horrible marriages. Okay. You know what? What's with these users? We're trying to block them. Okay. Yeah, fuck off. Man. <sighs> okay. Nancy S. says, take oh, a drink, Robin. Jody. <laughs> You're going to need it, Jode. Jode? You're close. My nickname is Jodes. Okay, let's see. Okay, Robin remembers. Okay, expert memory. Let's go. I don't know exactly why she's saying I also, Look how red uh, uh, Christine's neck is. It's hilarious. Lying. Coy and I did struggle in Vegas. In and my kids did say it. You know, she's sitting here saying that everybody's relationships were struggling in Las Vegas and we didn't have what we had and that you know, Cody and I were the only ones that were okay. You know, that's not true. What? Pause. Yeah, you, you think that because your relationship was good in Vegas, so therefore everyone else must have been. Yeah, they're saying that ours was good in there. That's just not true. 
Well, no, they're telling you I yeah. was not happy in Vegas. So therefore it is yeah. true. They're telling you firsthand, firsthand account here. Oh, because and again, Cody told roll you the tape, happy. roll the tape, Robin. Yeah. One of these things is not like the other. Robin, maybe you didn't see things clearly because you were in your honeymoon phase, right? Yeah. Um, Anne is says you guys, you guys need moderators to combat the spam. Okay. I mean, I didn't know that that was a thing we could do. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe we're all new to this. Yeah. I mean, come on. No. Um, all right. Yeah. No, they all had issues. They were very open with that. All three of them. Because the catfish thing with Mary, that was Vegas. Yeah. Janelle and Cody had issues in Vegas, especially around the time, like the latest was around the time that um, Maddie and Caleb were coming to move back in. Remember they were going to like um, build up walls and all that kind of stuff, but there was stuff even before that. And obviously Christine, since episode one in Lehigh, they were having issues. Well, also, do you notice that Robin said, oh, I see it was a little lie. I saw in Vegas, Janelle was having great relationships with Cody, and you and Cody went on dates. Doesn't mention Mary. Right. <laughs> like, because she's acknowledging true. Mary's. Yeah, I know. And like, again, this is just like Cody, where you you keep <laughs> telling yourself that so that you can, I think someone said the same thing, like, wipe your conscious clean. You can take no accountability or responsibility for anything that's happened. If you didn't see it, it didn't happen. All right, here we go. So I can't say this is just like, it was all a big fat lie. Let's just be honest about where it was at and that it wasn't just Cody and I. What? I'm pretty sure Robin maybe misunderstood something that Christine said. <gasps> it sounded to me like she was quoting questions that she had been asked. And I think Robin Wait, took it that it was just about her and Cody. We were trying to make it work. Wait, 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 really wait, wait, wait. Go, go back a second. I'm confused. It, just explain that to me if you don't want to replay she's, it. She's drunk. <laughs> Mary's drunk or, or Robin? Mary's, Mary's drunk. Yeah, it doesn't make, whatever Mary said doesn't really make sense. Okay. She, okay. She's saying like, I think Robin's misunderstanding, but really what's happening is Robin is just, Robin needed any kind of like entrance, like door opening to just let her, let herself start. Okay. Ranting okay. So Robin's right. not making sense. It's not that I'm not understanding it. Yeah. I think Robin okay. took it, but... It was just about her and Cody. We were trying to make it work in Vegas. We were really trying. I've, I've been aware that there's been problems for a long time. For a long time. Well, I had no idea. I did not know. Oh. Do you know what? This is the weirdest interchange because I've seen that Christine and Cody have been in a really bad spot for a long time. But it I'm almost feels seeing. like they're trying to invalidate Christine. Just <gasps> tell her that she's or... being crazy and she's yes, doing this I... on a whim and. It's the weirdest thing to me to watch this. And then we've had so many more realistic conversations that happened last year between Cody and I. And and you guys don't talk, though. You guys don't communicate. <gasps> Fuck you, you bitch. You guys don't communicate very well at all, though. So I don't really see how that could be even legitimate. You keep shrugging your fucking grumpy ass shoulders, you curly hair bitch. How Why bitchy was, was that? that? Wasn't that bitch? You guys don't talk though. You guys don't talk though. So I don't even say how that's like baker face. Legitimate. How does she know? Oh, because he's with you all the time. Because and he tells you, you everything. And he leave. gossips. What a bitch. God, I fucking hate her. I'm sorry. My language is like going nuts right now. This probably can get taken down. But this is insane. The way she's Allison, shrugging her shoulders like this. Allison's what is just that? slurring. She's slurring her speech. She yes, she is slurring her speech. Robin's the one person stupid. on earth that I, I believe isn't drunk. Yeah, she's just stupid. Yeah, she just doesn't have uh, you know education. Oh, or just because you crunched your curls up today, you think like, oh, you're young and fucking hot stuff. What was that? You, you don't communicate. <laughs> what is that? The, the way she said it was so. The, you don't communicate though. So I haven't seen anything. So, and this is all stuff. And do you notice that Cody's not chiming in? He has completely been like, Robin, this yes. is, they rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. This. this, yes. And this proves that Robin, hey, you have been his voice the whole time. Yep. And you've he been, has stewing, been just puppeting whatever stewing. the hell it is that you said. This does all come from you. Yeah, yeah, now we're seeing Robin isn't just like, oh, I just sit here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Cody, he doesn't listen to any of his wives. Do you think that he's just going to say whatever I say? Yeah, because you're a fucking bitch right here. 
Ew, and it's just she, the, this, this. If anyone talk to you with this little shruggy shoulder thing, ugh. Are you ready? How dare you? Sorry. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. We've communicated better the last six months. Like, really? Do you think so? <gasps> no, not at all. Oh. Uh, please stop staying here. Your stuff is out. I'm leaving. We're breaking up. Yeah, that's called it's communicating. She has just had control of everything over that. It's made her feel powerful, so she feels like she's communicating. It's made oh. her feel powerful. Oh, okay. that's why women shouldn't be allowed to feel powerful or in control of anything. This is what this is what's wrong with the world today. Oh, women she are made to feel powerful. Yeah, like she's like saying how she feels, so she thinks that she's in control of her life. Oh, uh, yeah, she it, and. As a matter of fact, Cody, that is communicating quite clearly. Here are your things. I am leaving. We are going to get a divorce. That's typically how communication works. Oh, and then do you see how he was like hitting? He's like, he's like, I'm leaving. I'm packing up your stuff. Like, I just, I didn't like this, babe. Didn't like oh, this. Well, that's exactly what Christine did, right? Christine was like, here's your stuff. Here's where you're going. She's like, hey, I packed up your things. If you could like bring some of it home, that would be great. Yeah. It's my house, so. God. Oh. I think we tried. It's not that we did we try. Fine. Okay, whatever. That's your guys' relationship. <gasps> yeah, it is the relationship. What? Exactly. So shut, so the, shut the fuck, fuck up. up, Beaker. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever. Ugh. Oh, well, fine. I guess that's your relationship or whatever. But what about me? Yeah, why don't you zip up your fucking ugly ass pinch curl face and let Cody do the talking. Yeah, J Mary, anything you want to say here? <sighs> JP says Christine's O's are killing me, which is so true. It's Because every so often she just goes, oh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Mona yeah. Reiki, thank you. Oh. Love, she gave us okay, I'm she sorry, gave us you guys. I know I'm, thank you. I'm getting a very aggressive. I'm really sorry. This is my first time watching this. Amanda, you've had some time to process it. And clearly yeah. I'm going to need some therapy after this. This is like aggressive isn't even the word for what Robin is being. It's like whatever word is aggressive, condescending, bitchy. Um, <sighs> mean girl. It's just, it's, it's clear that she's been stewing on this for 12 years. Her and Cody mm -hmm. have been working up this speech for 12 years. Although it's just occurring to me that maybe the reason all of us are like, whoa, Christine is being very measured and like, oh, oh, um, probably because Christine and Janelle are used to seeing this side of Cody sure. and, uh, and Robin. Beaver. Yeah, because they they're going to turn on the cameras we until have now. It. Yeah. Yeah, they've definitely I've seen, seen it. anything. So they're just like, oh, uh huh, oh, oh, is that how you see it? Because they don't seem shocked by Robin's behavior. If they were shocked, they'd be like, wait, why do you think that? Think about that. Like, if you were to come off to me like Robin is, you don't like my reaction would be like, oh my God, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There would be something, not just like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. uh huh. Um, please no, don't this is nothing I'm just new. Sorry. Uh, I think I like popped some sort of artery behind my eye. <laughs> like I'm feeling like I'm gonna start twitching. This is uh, okay. Jacqueline wants me to do a first watch reaction next week. Okay, I will. Okay. Whoa, TT doll gave Aww. us fifty bucks. Wow, Aww. thank you, Robin and Cody. Annoy the heck out of me. So Christine sweet. is way too classy for this family. Yes, <laughs> I mean exactly. Is. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us. Wow. All right. We're almost done. We're at the main, the uh, main stretch, long stretch. Yeah. Stretch. You know. Stretch it out. My other relationships in with it. I, it's home stretch. I'm not trying to. I don't understand why you think. Because you're trying. saying the only people, the only relationship that was going okay was was mine and Cody's. And you that's never said true. that. You did say that. You said in Vegas, the only people that were close was 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 us. I didn't what? say that. Then what did you say? I don't know. But I did not say that the only relationship in Vegas that was good was you guys. Yeah, no. 
Robin. Okay, that's what I heard. That's that. why I'm getting oh, frustrated. That's why you were saying about oh. Janelle and I have yes. oh. no problems in Vegas. Because I don't know. Actually, well, you were saying that me and Ron were having problems in Vegas. So you heard it from Cody. Mm -hmm. Also, I will. I'm not taking Robin's side, but I'm sure she probably did say that a lot in Vegas. Yeah, but she, but well. Which is fine. Be oh, like Robin wasn't talking shit about them. Right. She yeah, obviously exactly. was because she just said, oh, I saw everything. Your dates were all fun and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So Robin, you were talking shit about them too. You were talking about their stuff all the freaking time. Well, why is this coming up now? Why is, why are you, what is this because have to do with anything? It's over. Doth protesteth too much. <laughs> right. Because Robin doesn't want it, it to be seen like she did anything wrong. Like she's the favorite wife. But you could have just shut the phone. Nobody was even going to bring this up, Robin. We all know that you are the reason. Why are you? So now so now it makes her look worse because it shows that yep. she was aware the whole yes. entire time. The yes. whole time. The whole time. The whole time. She was aware. And so uh -huh. Christine's like, also, what is Robin trying to accomplish here? Is Christine going to come back and be like. By saying, I'm not the favorite wife because you guys got along in Vegas. You were having a great relationship in Vegas. So I wasn't you, the you favorite wife You had some wife nice dates. You went on that helicopter ride that one time. And yeah, they shot paintballs at each other. You had a fun date in Vegas, so I was not the favorite wife then. That's what she's trying to say. No, this has been years in the making of Robin just wanting to really... And she's not doing what she thinks she's doing here, because she's... God. And she's America probably hates watching you, season 16 at the time this is filming, and this is when she was like, no, Cody, Mary For cannot sure. see the kids, because then everyone else is going to be jealous. No, this is not the time to let Mary anywhere near Areola uh yep absolutely and we, we see like, that now because cody's like i i didn't know we were divorced really because in the last conversation that we even saw last episode he was like the state is gonna take custody of truly and she's gonna be in a foster home and they're gonna be no one's gonna be truly's legal parents when we get a divorce this is insane uh jennifer uh, says this is my first time watching you guys and i'm loving it fuck robin yeah i mean what a great time for you to join us finally i mean check out the other episodes i'm really scared like that oh, oh thousands would be a stretch we have, but like, we have like almost 700 people. people in here though no. somehow youtube youtube yeah robin should be sitting there silent but now yeah. she can't. your yapper yeah she can't oh, because she no, is she's... such a bitch this is she thinks she's redeeming herself here which is hilarious but also if you can see she's cody in the other chair mom. she'll say something and it'll be stupid obviously and then cody in the background will mumble something like oh remember to say that so, well actually i don't know this is what we do. Uh, I like, oh, yeah yeah, yeah. <sighs> god what an idiot okay let's Almost see done here it's now, at least a little i don't know everything of course but I know what the relationship was between you and Mary. I know that you and Cody were in such a good place in Vegas. What? Yeah, I Janelle just rolled her eyes. Janelle just went, <laughs> okay. She knows everything about everyone's relationships. She knew yeah. about Mary and Cody. Oh, why would that be? Because Cody talked to you about his other relationships, which you all swore. 16 seasons in that you never talked about the other one. And wives. she possibly hired the catfish or like got the catfish going. Right. Also, but Robin, as, as the expert of polygamy, isn't her main thing always saying, I just have to stay out of it. You, you, know, you don't get involved in the other sister wives. You have to support the other sister wives' relationships. And you don't get involved. And now she's like, no. but I knew everything. I knew everything about you. Whoa, um, no, farm yeah. girl, nurse doc. Thank you. Yeah, I clicked it the same time again. Thank you for the afternoon of entertainment. Aww. You two are great. Yeah, we're going up on uh four hours here. So uh thanks. And it's <laughs> Thank not you. enough. We're oh it's not. <laughs> I can keep going. I don't really like being pulled into this and using my relationship as an example as ammunition against Christine. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. And I, I'm sitting here wanting to say something, but I don't know what to say. Okay, I and I'm sorry if uh, that was ever Okay, I never meant that in Vegas. Cody and I were struggling in Vegas. I must have gotten confused because oh. I do not know how. Oh. Can we make that? Can we make that a meme? I must have gotten confused. Write that down, Joan. Oh, I, I am. I must have gotten confused. <laughs> okay. What was the other one? Oh, that's I not a cool thing. Confused. 
That's not even a cool statement. Get some That's... great quotes out of this one. Oh, she must have just gotten a little, a little confused. I guess I must for have years confused. and years as your husband is sleeping next to you in bed instead yeah. of his other three wives. She was just confused. Oh, she looks, she looks she's looking great though. She was just confused. Mm. Oh God, she looks so. Well, you she's, must have been confused Judy, when you watched the Ulta and picked up that age. goddamn dark brown eyebrow pencil too. She's your age. <sighs> She's a year older, but God, she's like wow. Porcelain Hold on, white. people are saying rewind a second. Rewind. Okay. We'll go. We'll go back ten seconds. All right, I'm, I'm at thirty nine twenty five. Oh, okay, great. An example is ammunition against Christine, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, and I, I'm sitting here wanting to say something, but I don't know what to say. Okay, I, and I'm sorry if uh, that was ever okay. I never meant that in Vegas. Cody and I were struggling in Vegas. I must have gotten confused because I do not know how I got that out of what she said. Oh, oh, I wonder if it was Cody that made you feel like that. Beaker face, Melissa, $20 tip. Thank you. Our darling Beaker. Beaker. Your Beaker face is lit. Yeah, you're our, you're our entire background this, this week. In, I, I don't know how I got that. I must have just been confused. No, you were just being a fucking bitch. That's called being a yeah. bitch, Robin, not confused. And then she had a couple <sighs> days to think about it before the producer interviews. And she's like, fuck, I was kind of a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, do I get uh, out of this? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, this is her couch time. She's so now she had time to be yeah. like, ooh, they saw oh, the know, real me. I... Yeah. Local oh, vision, $20. Oh, no. Please. Oh god. I myself to sleep you. tonight. All right. Oh, gosh, she's so dumb. You guys are so sweet. Christine's picking the lint off her pants. <laughs> 12 years public. 11 years public trying to convince the world that we have something legitimate. We've worked so hard begging the public to accept our marriage our family and in a moment she decides we're divorced well i guess you failed that um i guess you okay. failed the big experiment you were trying to convince the world begging do you remember when cody was begging us cap yes. in hand jody cap in hand amanda cap in hand they were begging us to accept them bitch we were in on season one. Okay, we've been here, yeah. yes, for 12 years. You yes. don't need to beg us, please. That's why you have, that's that's why you have 70 seasons. Keep going. Amanda oh, so. M uh, says, remember when the anthropologist... Oh, I just got oh, got the do we remember. Uh, we just we're on an episode yet. and they told Robin that Cody spends way more time with Saul. Yeah, I, actually, the anthropologist stuff, if you guys want to check out our sister podcast, Surviving Sister Wives, Corey and... Carly. Carly. I get Caitlin and Carly. Yeah, Corey and Carly. We've done a couple crossovers with them and we're on one of the anthropologist episodes with them. So check mm -hmm. them out. They're fucking amazing. Much, much more professional than us. Um, yeah. Are you couldn't feel? Oh, you're confused. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's guilty. Absolutely. And because Peters. Oh, wait. Get, let, oh, sorry. Cindy Peters in her time. Oh, she gave I'm us a $20 cool. tip. Thank you. And we keep Aww. clicking shit at the same time. For yeah. Thank you. Right, we're, we're, we're so wow. done. And also, it's like, oh, this is Cody telling at himself, I lied so hard for 12 years for her no, just to show everyone Jody. that I was lying. They what? show more more in the preview for next week. They're gonna show even more of the kidney little thing, and it's so much. Wait, does more... he do kidney? Oh, wait, don't tell me if he does kidney. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. Okay. It feels like it delegitimizes everything I've worked for. Right. Yeah, it did. Oh, all the lies you worked hard for. Okay. Oh, he's pouting. When I chose to leave Cody. I knew I would be open publicly about it. And this was a decision that I was making that other people would know. And it wasn't a private decision. And one of the things that I was concerned about was, would I be considered fraud? Would I be considered a liar? I know without a doubt, I have tried for years to make this work. I have a clear conscience knowing that I gave it my best. If people wanna look at me and think otherwise, Okay. I, I can't do anything about that. 
Because she's not a narcissist and it doesn't matter to her. I I couldn't with a clear conscience stay married to someone who had favorites and made it very known. Um, I don't know if you can make it this hard. I needed to scan them instead. I wanted to do it for them. (gasps) That's the end of the episode. Can you? Yeah, that's the end. That's the end. It's fucking nuts, dude. So basically what she just said is like, I, it doesn't matter to me that about like putting on airs. Like I just need to live the truth of really what was going on. And I gotta go. Gotta bye go. Bye. Bye. Hilarious. Uh, TT doll super sticker, uh, $14. Thank you. Latrice is coming back in. I think for one more just to check in. She's like, you're, you're coming in on four hours. We got Suzanne gave Whoa. us a super sticker of 14 bucks. Thank you. Tia gave us 20. Wow. Oh God, you guys are amazing. Seriously. I guess amazing. people wait to the end to tip, tip, tip for the most part. That's so nice. I love it. Yeah. You don't know how YouTube oh works. God. YouTube. Oh. No, you need to really so prep yourself. Jesus, we have like the for, most beautiful uh, viewers ever. Um, we only got three like uh, spams of uh, hot girls XXX. I mean... I was a little flattered. They're like, yeah, I know. Do you because want us to join? Yeah, I know. We need, we need money. I'll do whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, right. But this is basically Christine being like, yeah, the, the show isn't most important to me. It's my kids. So I don't really care about the show. And, you know, I'm sure like she said, like, yeah, I understand I'm on a show. So maybe this means that I might be off the show, but I got to do what's best for my kids. I mean, that's what yeah. she's saying. Right? Did you see Walter just like get up and he was like, he shook and he just went, because he's like, he can, he can Aww. tell that I'm wrapping up. And he's like, also, Hey, I need to be fucking fed. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Wait, let's see previews here. All right. Hang on. I want to shout out Joe in Salt Lake city. Thank you. 10 bucks. Uh, Jindy. Super sticker, thank you. Okay, you oh, we're at the sweetest. Oh, yeah, I was not expecting God. that. All of that. Um, I'm glad we got on you YouTube. Let's uh, get into this next thing, and you're gonna just let it watch it okay. all the way through, and okay. then we'll comment. Okay, got it. Next time on Sister Wives, I have seen her non-acceptance of Robin and disdain for me through the years. She's treated you like dirt from the <gasps> beginning. That's the reason I'm pissed off. What? So that last little bit of hope sort of died. Man, just a knife in the kidneys over all these years. The sacrifices that I made. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> Actually, funny. Yeah. Wasted. I think, I think he ran Stella! out of breath. I think he ran out of breath because he goes wasted. Wasted. He had like no okay, breath Christine left. treated Robin like dirt. Really? Yeah, when? So mean to me. Because she didn't like give you a round of applause while she was pushing truly out of her breath yeah. now while you're making out with her. Robin or Christine was the sweetest one out of any of them. But then do you see that? Then Cody is just hanging out by his truck. And then Mary and Robin get up silently and leave. Mm. And then, I'm glad he said it. I'm glad you said it. Fuck, Fuck you, you, Mary. You know what? You don't need Mary, to see stay. You. Stay for the rest of your life, yeah, Mary. Yeah, stay at fucking Lizzie's. And then, uh, and then Janelle's, no, of course, hugging with, Christine. Stay with Cody. You deserve it, yeah, bitch. fine. But the, oh. Cody's little speech there reminds me of a person on, like, one of those wild rides where they shoot That's you up in the air and you're screaming and you <laughs> run out of breath. Because he's like, the sacrifices I made. <laughs> <laughs> He like does not have the breath left because he's so mad. Knife in the kidneys. I'd be like, bitch, don't you dare say kidney in front of me. 
And the the poise that Christine just sat there and then Janelle hugged her, which I mean, Cody's gonna be oh Janelle, I'm not gonna change your and shit. His like tomorrow. stomach went concave. Did you see that? He was like, the sacrifice of me to love you. But dude, Gross if you were Ro- if you were Robin, wouldn't you be grossed out like at this behavior? I'd be like, I don't want to go yeah. home with this. Oh, but she's like, oh, like, take a walk. Cody, he's loved Christine oh, so he's standing much. up for Robin. Because he's standing. I don't want to see my husband act like that. Do you? No. Also, again, his choice of wording, the sacrifices I've made to love you, it should be the sacrifices sacrifices I made because I loved you. Yeah. To love you just goes to show you never loved her. You were trying to to make yourself love her so that you could get onto your planet or whatever. What do you think of this? But now he can't. What do you think about Joe Darger? Oh, I don't think Joe Darger ever liked Cody. I think he always thought Cody was like a... A doofus like everyone fucking else. Yeah, because he would always try to bro out with Darger and Darger was never down for it. Yeah, he's like, we're in this because we made like eight eight grand for this. Um, During that, we got a bunch of other uh, super stickers. Uh, Jennifer, TT Doll, thank you. Um, We, uh, Ashley Ashley Merrick, I'm trying to scroll too. Sorry, it like jumps around. again. God, you guys are all so good. Thank you. I just want to make sure everyone gets a shout out there. Yes, you guys, thank you so, so, (sighs) so much. We really did it. it. Hey, we made it under uh, four hours. <laughs> Sorry again. Uh, I mean, someone Christ. could have again. We could have been. It's dark talking outside. during the time someone uh, conceived a baby, delivered a baby. Yeah. What else? God. <laughs> Kristen Bremner says, "Let's all scream together." Fuck you, Robin. Right? Yeah. Fuck uh, you, Robin. You. God, you I mean, suck. she really is like queen. You don't, you don't communicate though. C I've word seen here. <laughs> it was the, it was the shoulder thing. Yeah. The, mm. you don't. <laughs> What's, what is this? Oh, perpetually. Children, we don't know. Perpetually, we, we communicate. God, you fucking dumb shit. Latrice, Latrice is like, feed me. She's okay, I'm sorry. Back. Very quickly, who is the person? to have or to be able to talk robin and cody into some sense is it just a lost cause because they're both such narcissists and they're just dumb they're not bright i don't think anyone can talk sense into them no no they're uh this is their life now and robin's gonna die fucking miserable they both are they're both gonna die miserable up until today i was saying i hope mary leaves but you know what no Stay, Screw no, you, man. Stay, fuck you. He yeah, could exactly. have been on the cool, on the cool girl, cool girl. Oh, team. she totally could have. She picked the wrong bitch to side, <laughs> sure like did. side up yep. with. Wow. Yeah, TLC <sighs> paychecks talk. That's for sure. Oof, man. Oh, right. I hope Anything Logan else? doesn't talk to Cody though. No, um, no. There's else? no point in talking to a narcissist though. That's so true. And he's too old and too stubborn to ever even want yeah. to change. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, lost cause for sure. All right, well, we'll be back next week. I guess we yeah. all need to stay tuned and see for like sneak peeks if it's going to be oh, yeah. a, a tell all after next check week. Look at that TikTok account, Mrs. Kickstand, Olivia Coleman. Oh, yeah. Uh, she, she looks she exactly always, like Olivia Coleman. She really does like, in a good way. And yeah. she always posts the stuff early. I check her account first thing in the morning because she always gets the clips early. Mm-hmm. And so, I'm sure all of you guys follow Pop Psych. He's always got some good hot takes and stuff. Yeah, and we're out. on TikTok too. We're we're trying to get hit we're going so, uh, yeah we got like love to hate followers. pod check that out <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and uh what else amanda amanda i think that's it. i feel so good though right now hey if you have the flu just drink alcohol <laughs> you like, actually sound amazing <laughs> yeah you found out how to clear out your nasal passage yeah i kind of love you guys too now. Yeah. we'll be back love with an episode of love to hate everything wow. uh yeah oh check that's out on tiktok too not only uh, our TikTok, but check out uh, Lady Fire Three Four Three Simple Treasures for you. Do not tell them we sent you. No, by do all not means, say anything. Do no. not, because we're kind of snitches. Get stitches, but just <laughs> yeah. enjoy. 
just take it all in and um check out we love to hate everything you can watch it here on youtube or you can listen to it it's you know the same thing oh thank you allison so sweet hope you guys have a great night a great week Everyone stay healthy. We'll keep you tuned in. Yeah. What's going to be going on in two weeks? Because again, we don't know if it's a tell all yeah. or what. And I am going to uh, Lion King, but we'll figure that out. We might just do it a little bit later. On oh yeah. We have to do it later on the, the 20th, right? We're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. We're it just doing it. A we'll change the time. time. Stay tuned. Press the subscribe button because then you'll get oh, yeah. it. Subscribe, like all that uh, and like, yeah. stuff. Apparently that yeah. does actually matter in the algorithm when I look at like revenues and stuff. <gasps> Yeah, we knew so, that. So we're bad sure. at this. So, and you know what I meant to say at the top of the episodes? If you guys can watch the ads all the way through, but then we didn't. Well, I don't think so, you I don't think you watch them when it's live anyway. Yeah, I know, but for when people like for I should replay. have said it at the beginning for the replay. Yeah. Ah, you Next guys week. know this. Stuff. Next week for You're the amazing. final week. Yeah, all right, we, we love, love you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>